Good morning. Oh, yeah. Welcome. You know, here's the thing. I told you, if you do no re- if you just don't rest, that's why you ended up going home sick last Wednesday, like halfway through the show. You gave yourself yes. a little half day. I, you know, I, I knew on Wednesday I was in bad shape when I got out of the cab and I felt like I was going to vomit. That's but why I left Wednesday. I thought I was going to throw up. But you're still in bad shape. And then I found out on Thursday from Jim Brewer that you did not follow my advice of rest. And you went to the Comedy Cellar on Wednesday I had to do a set because I was going to San Francisco. And I felt better by then. It was like 12 hours later. I just did a quick set. You still have no voice. How can you say you felt better? I did six radio shows, Doug Benson's podcast, five shows in San Francisco. See? And now this, I'm back. This is back I'm to okay. what I was saying. I'm fine. You don't have any voice. You I do, didn't do You talk for week. a living. I know. I did a lot of it this weekend. Oh, it's good to know. Did more than usual. I did more than usual. Oh, yeah. good. It's the good. exact opposite of what you're supposed to do when you're not feeling. Well. I couldn't cancel five shows. You should Doug Benson's podcast. Yeah, but you could. You could have canceled. Yeah, I almost canceled Doug's, but he asked me to do it. it oh, was I almost canceled, but he asked me to do it. So, <laughs> right. So that was the only. Hiccup. I wanted to. Do, it was in the punchline, and I was like, I wanted to do it in a comedy club. It was fun. I'm sure it was fun. Well, I, I guess mean, he honors some requests, not like yeah. you, Sam. He didn't honor yours. The request of rest? Yes. No. Denied. No, no I mean... Um, Jim Brewer was like, oh, yeah, I was hanging out with him last night at the Comedy Cellar. I was like, you're all right. Yeah, it's, but that's a, again, it's a 15-minute set. A quiet, casual. I talked my way through my show. I didn't go... I, I was careful with my voice on stage. Um, but whatever. Now I'll just rest it and have my nice week here. It'll be fun. What do you mean rest it? We do three hours of talking yes. every day. It's yeah, I know, but it's not rest it. But it's not on stage. Is different. You got to do you know oh, an hour straight of just. Insane. You don't have to project on the radio. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing all my my. You know, I got you. Yeah, my, yeah. my voice is no. My your mer bit is my favorite. Yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. So. That's my closer. Yeah, you yeah. I open and close with it. It's super, super strong. I don't want to give yeah. away too much of it because yes. we're trying to sell some tickets. Yeah. But let's just say when he gets to the. <laughs> You're going to lose it. It's going to be good. I'm wondering if I should go to a doctor. I don't know. I haven't. I feel better physically. You probably have bronchitis. Oh, okay. I don't feel sick. But bronchitis all. is bad. I mean, you should go to a doctor because you have bronchitis. Not, you probably have bronchitis. Okay, no problem. Like, they give you a Z-Pack. They give you antibiotics. Uh, I, I hate taking antibiotics. I'll take them, but it's like I figured my body would fight it off. Why would you wrong. figure that? My body has very good immune system. I don't get sick very often. I believe that you have a very good immune system. I don't get how often I get sick. No, not often. And you probably, I mean, look at what you put your body through. Your body has been put in vulnerable positions that would strengthen it, yes? Yes, let's just say it has been, yes. Yeah, so I, w- I would imagine that you have a strong immune system. Um, I think so. But yeah, leaving sick was very hard. I did, did not want to leave. I knew I would be gone Thursday just because the flights to the West Coast sometimes when you have a West a show on the Right, that was, we knew that was happening. That was, that was a travel thing. Th- yeah, a while in advance. But uh, just coming back, I, the whole time Elias is talking... You, I don't, you, I was. Oh yeah, that was the Elias interview. Yeah, but I, I felt like I'm gonna have to leave here and vomit. Like I just, I couldn't. I talked I to him. Focus on anything but that over the weekend, and I was like, "Hey, you know, uh, just so you know, in case he, like J- Jim was not feeling well, that's yeah. why he didn't. You know, he only. But I, I also pointed out that you did. Uh, I mean, you still got some pretty, pretty good zingers in there. The condom joke. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. But uh, he was like, "Oh yeah, no problem," and then. He's like, did he do a show? He, he was on the show Z-Rock. And I was like, yeah. I guess nobody's asked about that. And he was like, yeah, I was a huge fan of his from Z-Rock. Oh, wow, yeah, from, with uh, Jericho. That's, yeah. that's what me and Chris made up. Right. After that fight we had on Opie and Anthony when Patrice was in, and then I went on and did Z-Rock, which was Lynn Coppola's had a show. And I forget the name of the guy is the band. Um, but Chris was on that episode. We just made up, and it was, it's been great since then. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Wow. But San Francisco was good? Really good. Yeah. Um, the radio, I did a lot of radio for it, and um, podcasts, and just fucking... It was a lot of lovely buzz about our program. There was. Yeah, people oh, come nice. to the show. A lot of people are daily listeners. Yeah, it was nice to do... Uh, it's always nice now. I mean, I was going to say it was nice to have WWE stuff in New York because you get a lot of radio listeners, but now it feels like everywhere we go, there's a lot of radio listeners that are coming up and a lot of uh, Sammy Brand Muffin shouts. Do people at Wrestlers Mania know uh, the show? Did anybody say to you from, from Wrestlers people Mania? At, people at what? Wrestlers Mania. That's not a th- I don't know what you're talking That's sure it's it not. That's not what it's called. That's what I call it. Wrestlers Mania? Yeah, the Wrestlers Mania. Hey, I was thinking, <laughs> I have some ideas. Maybe we want to change a name here and there. Maybe Wrestlers Mania? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, Wrestle. Oh. Yeah, is what it generally goes by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots I was of- looking for you trending. Oh, I was trending. Oh, where are you? Yeah. I, I don't know how to look it up. Do you put the hashtag in search? 
No, no. If you go, if you just go to the uh, search, you can either if you're on the web, it's on the side of it. But if you're on your phone, oh, yeah. you just go to the little uh, search part, and then before you don't search anything, it'll have the list of what's trending, and you just click the list so you can give you the top. 20 trends oh i didn't uh i don't know why i should probably know how to do that but i, I wanted to see if you were uh yeah i nailed it on friday and then i nailed oh, it again on sunday at wrestlemania so yeah. they were loving you huh not all of the trends will be positive <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the trends will be false that's right that's right um yeah i mean i think troy just clicked out of it but i think one of the last things that was up was uh comparing me to some kind of uh engine fire Every time Sam Roberts says something on the pre-show for hashtag WrestleMania, it's so awkward for some reason you couldn't write it. And then a picture of an airplane blowing up. No, they're saying you're fire. Isn't that a good thing? Isn't I don't that know if young people say you're fire? I don't know if that's what they're saying because everybody is looking at the fire like it's some kind of horrible disaster. Would you be upset if you found out that they were going to have Vince beat you up in the ring? I, if, if So you're saying like if they said, look... These trends come in every single time you're on the kickoff show now. We're going to have Vince McMahon beat you up and say, ring. like, this is because you keep doing a bad job. No, I'd be okay with it. You would? I'd be okay with it. Yeah, think I, th I think like I'd it? be okay with it. Yeah. Do you think people would like seeing you get smashed in the ring? Oh my God, a lot of people would enjoy it. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, this one says, good God, uh, watch along. Oh, this was, oh, yeah, because, so I did uh, NXT TakeOver on Friday. At the Barclays Center, NXT, we talked about it, I think, on the show at some point, but that's WWE's... Uh, Farm system? Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, there, it's, but it's become a pretty big brand in and of itself, and they run arenas now. So that was at the Barclays Center. We did the uh, kickoff show for that show on Friday. That was with uh, Pat McAfee. Then on Sunday was WrestleMania. I did the kickoff show for WrestleMania. The first hour was on WWE Network. The second hour was on USA on TV TV, which was great. The whole thing went awesome. And I think that I made up for my, uh, you know, slight misstep at last year's sure, WrestleMania. Sure. So I would hope that since I did well last night, that we just wouldn't bring up. Right, of course. Like we, So we probably won't bring up the misstep from last year. Sure. Yet. The the and action thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was humiliating. We're kind of done with that. It's though. over. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. But then I did, and then they have Pat McAfee doing a YouTube thing called the watch along where it's pat and people come into the room uh and just watch wrestlemania but the camera's on them so the idea is that you're watching the pay-per-view and you can watch them and you can watch them kind of like logan it. does with his uh fight yeah. companion now is is does and so i join that you're not shown on youtube though the wrestling is not shown on youtube no, no, no you okay. have to get it on the network and That's then smart. you can watch yeah and so, you know, they asked me to jump in sometimes, and so I jumped in, and this person said, good God, watch along was fun without Sam Roberts. Never have him back. And they, they, they accidentally put never have him back in capital letters. I don't know if that was an, you think that was just like they slipped oh, yeah, on yeah, the yeah, cap lock button? Oh, yeah, 100%. Not, oh, okay. not intentional. Oh, yeah, and there's a, there's a photo of, of the Iconics, the new women's tag team champions coming in and pouring food all over me and smearing cupcakes on my face. Did, did you enjoy that? I mean, I didn't think it was necessary to do all that. I, I've been critical of them before, and they sure. won and decided to take it out on me. By the way, Mary um, Sikian, or, or Sikin, whatever her name is, Sikin, and Sam Roberts never needs to be on any WWE programming. That guy is a jerk. He thinks some downright stupid things that are just wrong. I mean, Sincerely, serious staff <laughs> and management. You know, it is what it is. I give, yeah. I give opinions from sure. time to time, and you know that sometimes... My delivery of information that I think is true, yeah, sometimes comes across as intolerant of other people's points of view. Yeah, you seem like probably a verbose ass. Okay, all right, that's one way to phrase it. Sure, yeah, you're getting a lot of negative comments here. A lot of comments is what you're yeah, saying. I've never been a Sam Roberts fan. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, there's a there's a a comparison of me to the Geico Caveman. I've seen that one before. <laughs> We're well into WrestleMania. That's cool, but I still hate Sam Roberts. Okay, okay, wow. Um. Yeah, I mean, there, it, it it went on uh, for Sammy a shit bags. I mean, <laughs> Sammy shit bags pops up a lot. Yeah, people love it, and and yeah, you know, you've uh, ruffled some feathers when you end up. I mean, it's it's an hour after the kickoff show is over, and they're still talking about it. It's still going. Yes, yeah, unfortunately, still... I don't see anything positive here. 
That's weird, huh? You think somebody would have something to say positive? Yeah, well, they do. It's a little bit of shadow banning. Oh boy, it's Twitter and there. It's Twitter's agenda. Oh. Sam, Sam Roberts is a jerk. He clearly has issues with people of color, and I really wish WWE would cut ties with him. That's right. Yeah, apparently no. they've never seen your hair. The, well, they did at one point. Uh, I once said that one uh, wrestler who is a, a black woman was not uh, fit to be in a championship match. And I was I was told that you know that had a lot to do with either sexual or not sexual orientation, uh, gender and race. Or race well. Yeah, yeah, yeah race. Well, we've was, all said that. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't agree, but you know. Hey, how did Colin Jost and uh, Michael Che do? They did good. It was funny. It was. It was funny. I think it worked. They uh, were in the battle royal, but you know, in a battle royal, you have to jump. You have to be thrown over the top rope to lose the match. So they rolled under the bottom rope at the very beginning of the match. And they hit under the ring for the whole thing. And then once it was time to win, they jumped back in the ring to try to win the match. Right. And then Braun Strowman beat them up a little and threw them outside. They had the time of their lives, I'm sure. They enjoyed it. I'm sure. He threw them over yeah. the top. I mean, you could tell Colin Jost like just so embraced the cheesy bad guy thing. He came out in a Browns Odell Beckham Jr. jersey in MetLife Stadium. Just they rained booze down on him. Oh, he, he, did Obadell Beckham go to the Browns? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even hear that. Okay. Yeah. And, but he, it just happened. So he got himself a Browns jersey with ODB's number and everything on it. And he, uh, and he came out just to, just to scores of booze, booze, booze. It was great. See, they hit under the ring. They had leggings on. Michael Che was also wearing a headgear, like an old school wrestling headgear. And so there, they're thinking, we're going to eliminate Braun Strowman and win the trophy. Except they ended up... This clip might be a little long to go through the whole thing. Oh, okay, they're just showing this But moment. they're still two on one, though. Unfortunately, they did not fare well. No. No. Braun was able to make minced meat out of them. I do wonder what that's like, though. Even for, you know... You're you're uh, you're on TV every week, but then you're standing there in front of eighty thousand people live. There's nothing like it. By the way, he just threw Colin Jost onto the. They how had to highly throw him out of the ring, but not really hurt him. And they did it where they threw it, and these guys kind of catch him and fall back. Right. Well done. Right. Yeah. That's. <laughs> how much fun is that getting thrown out of the ring? I mean, but you have to imagine that Colin is sitting there going like, "Oh my God, please catch me, please catch me, please catch me." Was it hard for him to throw Colin out of the ring? It was very very easy <laughs> to the point where like you kind of fun. you kind of worry that he's going to throw him so hard he clears the wrestlers yeah. that are there to catch him you know because Braun Strowman is he's a monster he's a big guy yeah and then he gave like uh he eliminated Michael J by like smacking him in the mouth and then Michael J like fell over and everything it was funny did you um now you probably didn't hear but during a Bret Hart's Hall of Fame speech some guy ran up on stage and tackled him did you hear that yeah, I was at the Hall of Fame. Okay. I was there. Why, why wouldn't I have not heard that? It was I wasn't a, sure if you heard that, because I'm, I'm usually up on the news. It's a big news story, and it was centered around the event that I was actually at. Okay, I wasn't sure if you heard it. Or not. Yeah, I did. I think maybe you're backstage. I did hear it. Um, he didn't get hurt, did he? No. Yeah, Bret Hart was doing his Hall of... His, Bret Hart was getting inducted uh, with his tag team partner, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, who passed away, into the Hall of Fame, and... Midway through his speech, so the Hall of Fame is set up, uh, the induction ceremony. I didn't know they did it in a ring. Yeah, they actually haven't done that before. This was the first year they had done that. But they did it in a ring where one side of the ring has no ropes, so it becomes like a stage surrounded by three sides of ropes, right? And all around the ring is where mm. the talent sits. That's all WWE talent sitting around the ring. Right. So the people who buy tickets end up either far away on the floor or as the seats start to rise up. So at some point during Bret Hart's speech, this guy wearing this weird Rasta wig. Looks with, like Chip. Yeah. With the hat. Exactly. Wearing the hat and the Rasta, you know, dreads coming down, just rushes the ring, you know, and he didn't have to, on the floor, he didn't have a whole bunch of aisles of people to go through because, like I said, it's set up for WWE talent to just right. kind of sit there and watch, you know, and... Watch the people going into the Hall of Fame. Did he have a seat that close where he walked up? No, he came down and hopped the rail oh. and then ran through and just jumped up in the ring. And, you know, wrestling's a weird thing in the sense that, like, you have to take a second. And it only really takes one second if you know what you're looking for. But you have to take a second to figure out if this is part of the show. Is this part of it? Right, right, right. But pretty quickly. And, I mean, security got there 
you know, they got there as quickly as they could. But the last thing you want to do is go to the Hall of Fame and jump, try, tackle a legendary wrestler in the ring when you're surrounded by a whole bunch of wrestlers that are already all sort of uh, tense. Tomorrow is WrestleMania when, right. when this is happening at Hall of Fame, right? So all these guys are ready to go out and give the performance of a lifetime. They're all, you know, worked out and worked out, like they've been working out like crazy. And then some guy jumps out of the audience and is disrespectful to the industry. Yeah. Wrestler justice was was swift. Swift. Where's uh Where's Travis Brown? Was, he, um, was Ronda's husband was there? You said Ronda's husband was there. Yeah, a whole bunch of people. So the guy jumps into the ring and he tackles Bret Hart, who's like an older man at this point. And Bret Hart actually was knocked to the ground. And uh, a bunch of wrestlers and security jumped in immediately. That's him. Travis Brown is in the light brown jacket. That oh, just is that jumped him? In real yeah. Quick. Oh, oh boy, that is him with the uh, punches raining down. Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. of all the people, they're the last one I want punching me is fucking Travis Brown. Yeah, when you have a bunch of wrestlers and then also Travis Brown, Ronda Rousey's husband, who hasn't fought in a while, and no, probably itching. No, and that guy in the gold pants there is—he's uh, a relative of Brett who was there. He's not a WWE guy anymore, but he was there, you know, as part of the thing. Plus, you don't know if the guy has a weapon or what. The exactly, fuck planning. It's like you, you got to really subdue him. So. Exactly. So, uh, yes, yeah, so they carried him out. And they, they, you know, they bring him backstage and then give him right to the police and just yeah. let the police handle it. But Bret Hart, man, what a pro for an old guy like that to get tackled down and brought to the ground. The guy grabbed him from behind and literally threw him to the ground. Yeah. And Bret was probably also smart enough to kind of fall down. Like the last thing you want is a struggle. He just kind of, he went down, you know. Right. But he got right back up and, and continued on with his speech. It was pretty, it was really impressive. But yeah, you can see, and I mean, you know. Where was the actual uh, Hall of Fame? Is it the Barclays? Oh, it was, okay. Yep. Yeah, they did everything except for WrestleMania at the Barclays. They couldn't sell the tickets, huh? WrestleMania was in... Uh, it's a shame. You figure WrestleMania would be able to sell at Barclays, it was but... In, it was in MetLife Stadium, and it was, yeah. it was sold out. 82,000 yeah. 82, people were yeah, well, at WrestleMania. Yeah, that's, that's what they say, but if they couldn't fill the Barclays. No, they, they, Barclays is m significantly smaller. No. They filled about six Barclays worth. No. Yeah, no, for no, WrestleMania. No. I would say that's, a, that's a more or less right. Yeah. So, yeah. Although, it wasn't necessarily called uh, MetLife Stadium, according to some. They, no. brought, they brought Hulk Hogan out as a surprise for WrestleMania, right? And uh, and it was just to cut a promo at the beginning of the show and just kind of welcome everybody to WrestleMania. Did people like when he came out? Yeah. People I, supported him. And right? I was waiting to see. I was like, I wonder what the reaction's going to be. And that, you know, dun, 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 How could they not like Hulk? Red, the giant dick. The red, that's not what they're cheering for. Is that what they're cheering for? His that, big dick? Troy, yeah. that's what you would be cheering for. The fact that he put it to her good in that video? Yeah. And yeah. he likes to throw around the N-word. Yeah. No, that's not, none of that Hulk's has anything. Trooper. <laughs> They big were, cock, big vocabulary. It's the best. No, they're cheering for his, uh, you know, this is their childhood hero. Absolutely. Right. Not for those reasons that you just said. Now he's my hero. Well, I understand that, but that's neither here nor there. That's not how the fans feel. But yeah, so they, they were like, you know, freaking out. Like, you know, Hogan's music starts playing. Everything goes red and yellow. And it's like, you know, it's, it's whatever. And he comes out. And the last time he was at WrestleMania was five years ago. It was when WrestleMania was in the Superdome. Now, one of Hulk Hogan's biggest WrestleMania matches was in a building in Pontiac, Michigan called the Silver Dome, which is like, it's been destroyed by now. Yeah. But Hulk Hogan had kind of an embarrassing moment at the Superdome when he went in and he kept calling it the Silver Dome during his promo. And people remember that and they were like, oh, Hulk, what are you doing? I made a mistake. And so Hulk comes out uh, last night and he goes, hey, just want to welcome everybody to the Silver Dome. Ah, just kidding. Just kidding. And everybody's like, okay. And he goes, but seriously, I'm happy that everybody's here at the MetLife Center. Uh, and everybody was like, oh, Hulk, you did it again. He made a mistake. <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not what it's called. No. No, that's not. It's MetLife Stadium. It's MetLife Stadium. It's yeah. not the MetLife Center. The MetLife Center, yeah. it's, I mean, you just look up and you can see the sky above you. It's an mm. open air stadium. It's not. You can see a fan. I mean, this was on, uh, this was on the pay-per-view and on the network and everything. But if you want to watch that. Yeah, a fan captured it. Yeah, 
Ah. And killed. That's okay. He didn't. It's Center Stadium. No one. No, no one cares. That's not bad. It was in. The, it's, I mean, it's in the post today. It's you know, people. It was trending. People. Really? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, yes. But it's almost like now you want to bring out Hulk Hogan to every show just to see what name he makes sure. up for the building that he's yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> what time was it done? Uh, last night, twelve thirty. You left early. I decided to stay for the uh, duration. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. I stayed for the whole show. No, you might be a little tuckered out today. It didn't bother me not one bit. Okay. Went to the after party for a little while last night. Oh, yeah. Were there any wrestlers there? Of course. You know, the, those of us who uh, who put in some work for WrestleMania had to take a load off and, and celebrate a job well done. Did you get drunk? I was so fucked up, dude. I was so drunk. I mean, I'm hungover, right? Hey, did you drink? You know, I'm, I'm still drunk. When we were doing that thing, did you drink at all? Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Is that your first time? No, no, it's not. It's not my like. I drank. It was beer, right? And didn't drink a whole beer, and so it wasn't my first time. Did you feel a that. buzz? So I was like zooted. Anything yeah. from half? No, but no. no, no, I didn't feel anything. Um, Would you ever eat an edible? No, I mean, I don't are just, you curious as to what it's like? No, no. Okay. I have zero. Like, there's None, nothing. Yeah. It's it's not a struggle. It's not a thing where I'm going like, oh, I got. I don't. I don't even want to. Yeah. Um, oh, you're missing. I'm sure he is. I'm just what I think about it. I can't do it, but it's like I think like fuck. Just to eat it. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I mean I guess, but I mean I got enough fun stuff going on. Chill out, watch a movie. Yeah, I do that. Eat an edible. Do oh, you know, I, I forgot that third part. <laughs> I watched fucking American uh gangster again yesterday. God That's so damn good. is that a good movie. It's so good. Fucking Denzel Denzel, I noticed that Denzel could we interviewed Frank Lucas once. Yeah. And he, you know, his lip, he just his face is a little. It's obviously very different than Denzel, but Denzel begins to kind of morph into him as he gets older in the movie. Mm -hmm. It's so fucking good. That's Blue Magic. That's a brand name. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fucking a copyright infringement. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. <laughs> He's Such fucking eighty-eight and still alive. Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas. Nicky Barnes is eighty-one. Or no, he's eighty-five. Some guys that just lived such a, a long story. time. Yeah, it's, it's such a good story. It's a really well done movie. I've had the urge to watch it, and it's like one of those things you watched over a two-day period. It's a long movie. It's like three hours. But you can just put it on and just watch for a half hour. Go yeah. do what you want to do. Come back. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm in the middle of American Gangster. Every scene's great. Travis was at uh, Young Travis was at WrestleMania as well last night. Were you at Wrestler's you. Mania? Yeah, Young. I like that. Yeah, Young Travis. Thank you. Yeah. Did you, did you have good seats? Yeah, they were good. Were yeah. you in the? Were you in a booth or in the uh, sta stadium? We were in the stadium. And you enjoyed. Yeah, I had a great time. Wouldn't you want to be in the booth though? What booth? What are you talking any, like, about? You're booths? talking about like a suite? Yeah. You got to get your words together, man. Booth. <laughs> Don't Do you want to be in the booth? Yes. Do you have any special booth tickets? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were suite level. So like. Oh, cool level? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I'm just going to turn my mic off. <laughs> no, I can't keep up on two hours of sleep. Oh, you didn't Come get on, Travis. Pick it up. Pick I'm it up. the after party? No, I didn't go to the after Why party. Why not? Not invited, huh? Not invited. He not wouldn't invited. have been welcome. No, didn't want to. Not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> See what that means? That ticket, not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Did you stay for the whole show? Yeah, of course I Good stayed for, for the whole show. I had to see Becky. Well, here's the thing. Here's what WWE does now. For WrestleMania, they go, look, you want to enjoy all of WrestleMania? You're going to have to enjoy all of WrestleMania because this is a seven and a half hour show. We're not kidding. The show starts pre-show, starts at 5 p.m. 2 p.m. on the West Coast. Right, and there's matches on the pre-show. And we're going all the way till twelve thirty. They and give the people WWE, their fucking money's worth. And the WWE isn't isn't like for UFC. I think that people are kind of conditioned to know when to show up. Hardcore MMA fans will show up at the beginning, and those because UFC puts on Pre really long shows fights, too. Yeah, but WWE doesn't do prelim. It's all part of it. It's all part of it. So the idea is that. No, you show up when the show starts. What was the first match? They, is the first one a big one? No, 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 The first one, it's not, it's certainly not as big as any of the other matches, but it's still, I mean, it's not a small match. It was the Cruiserweight Championship was on the line in the first match. That was about five o'clock. But really, I mean, if you look, if because I, I was looking down, we did the kickoff show from uh, the suite level as well, so I could look down right. upon everything. That was the backdrop of the show. And for 5 p.m., the stadium was starting was definitely starting to fill. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was there was a significant and, and you also have to understand 
But when you get 82,000 people going into a building like that, it takes time just to get in. People and, were tailgating from noon. And if it rains, it everyone just gets wet. I mean, there's nothing. Correct. Has it ever rained at a WrestleMania? Um, it's like misted. You know, it's like a little bit here and there, kind of. But they haven't had a downpour. Flirted with it, but they've never had a downpour. Why don't they only do stadiums that have a uh, or a possible roof, dude? Outdoor stadiums are the best for no, no, no. But I mean, the, the outdoor just, stadiums where you could close it if it rained. Because I don't think that those stadiums work where you just push the button and it closes. You have to make the decision before or after. I think. But you would know if it was like raining all oh, morning. Oh, meaning like yeah, yeah. Or if it said there's gonna be thunderstorms all night, you'd well, have you'd have advance notice. I also think they don't want to limit themselves like that. You know, there's not that many of those stadiums. Yeah. You know? I mean, New York is a risk, right? New York is as big a sure. risk as any because even if it doesn't rain, cold. it could snow, it could, it, yeah, it could be freezing cold. I think people... Do people, would people not go to WrestleMania if it was raining? They'd still go. They would. They'd still go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a legit... 82,000 plus sure. people were there last night. They got to stop doing it on a Sunday, though, because I have to get up. I would go you, to one. because you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. But I'm going to see if they can do it next year, maybe like on a Saturday, and I'll go. For you? Yeah. Okay. They've already announced it's happening on a Sunday next year. It's in Tampa. Is it? Yeah. That's nice weather, though. Yeah. Well, it rains. Yeah. But does. usually in the afternoon, not in the night. Here's what we'll do. I've, all right. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to go down there. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, when is it in Tampa? A year from now. I'll book side splitters. I'll go down there, do a gig, then I'll stay for the Sunday, go to Wrestler's Mania, and we'll fly back. That's not what it's called. Yeah. Maybe you can incorporate your gig as part of WrestleMania weekend. Oh, like, I'd like that. Talk to WWE. Smart. Sure. Make a network special. Yeah, I'll yeah, put like, exactly. a little cage around myself. Oh, okay. people would do Some wrestling fans. They'd love that. I'll bounce off the ropes. Oh, smart. Yeah, yeah. They'd love that stuff. They would love it. But yeah, it was, uh, it was good. Did you have a favorite uh, thing that happened last night, Travis? A favorite thing. Yeah. I know you were there. I mean, you. what time did you get there? 5.30. Right. So you were there for the whole yeah. the whole deal. I don't, I'm so tired. I'm trying to think. Oh, I love DX coming out. Triple H's entrance was great. Yeah. Becky Lynch winning was awesome. Did you know she was going to win? Well, no. I didn't get the script ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't pass that out to the audience? <laughs> no. Well, uh, did you suspect was, she was going to win? I, I. It made the most sense to me. But the most sense doesn't win. always exactly. happen. Exactly. That, that doesn't always happen. Um, like if Charlotte had won, I would have been like, okay. Or if Ronda. I mean, you yeah. can see that happening. How long was that match, the last one? 15 minutes? Uh, 15, 20 minutes, yeah. yeah. And yeah. did Ronda get knocked out first? No, it was not. It was a triple threat, not elimination. First fall wins. So Becky pinned Ronda. But they did it in a good way where uh, Becky just kind of rolled her up out of nowhere. Yeah. So there wasn't like some big finish where Ronda got like laid out and was just... It, they did it in a way where Ronda was just rolled up out of nowhere. That was to the, very quickly done, yeah. Right, to the point where people were like, what? And it kind of mm. protects Ronda and makes it clear that, you know, like this is... Like you can't have Ronda beating everybody <laughs> and then all of a sudden she just gets her ass kicked. Like that doesn't make any right. sense. So... I thought Kofi and Daniel Bryan had the best match of the night. They had a great match. Yep. It was fun seeing Kofi win after he did the show on Thursday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Zach in Arkansas. What's up, Zach? Oh. Oh, the little operator over there. Hi, Zach. Well, yeah. Studio wasn't set up properly. Yeah. The, they should have tested it. Yeah, they did not. Can you? Yes, yeah, Zach, hi, Zach. We can hear you now. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to uh, uh, congratulate to Sammy Two Holes about a, a great a great uh, WrestleMania performance in the pre-show. It was Thank really you. Good. Thank you very much. It was, uh, yeah, it was a big deal. Thank you, Zach. It was a big deal. It was uh, the whole two-hour show. They had me on for the entire time, which they really don't do. You know, they switch around the panelists as the show goes, but they were like, no, we're going to use you for both hours. See, Vince knows that even if people are shitting on you or whatever they're saying, they're saying something, and they probably don't comment as personally on the people doing the show as they do on you. So, oh, yeah, no, no, no. They, so yeah, that's great. They, yeah, and I always like to, you know, now that they kind of just let me give my opinion, I always like to test how far I can go. I don't know. Right. Because I was like shitting on Triple H last night on the kickoff show. So I don't know. Uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't know Why if that's... You shit on I, Triple H, dude? I, sh I was shitting on Triple H. Why? Well, because yeah, because the story going into this... He's triple going to be your boss one day. Well, the story going into... Is he higher up, like right now, could he get you fired? <laughs> <laughs> triple H? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's the only reason I'm working there. Okay. But, um, yeah, I, he's going into his, his match last night, the story was that Batista of Guardians of the Galaxy 
felt that he was held back by Triple H. And so I went on the kickoff show and said, we've heard a lot of wrestlers said that Triple H has held them, held them back over the years. And I think the only reason that I'm on this kickoff show is probably because I have a radio show where I can say nice things about Triple H. And, you know, some of the panelists were like, what the hell? Like, you yeah, know, you know. Sure. But it's what I, it's what I was what thinking. What a fun it's a fun job. Yeah, where you could, you could actually just say what you're thinking. And they're like, kind of just be a douche. If you want to be a douche, you can be a douche. It's you know, fine. They said just give your opinion, That's which I think was code. Yeah, for me to be a douche. Right. They but knew. what, he just going to get positive opinions? The fuck wants to hear that? Well, they also knew that like, there's something, when Sam just gives his opinion, he comes across as a douche. I think yeah. that, that's, that was the thinking behind it. Yeah. So. so yeah, I just go out and say what I think about whatever we're talking about. Do those guys talk shit public? Can we get up? Uh, I want to find if we can, between Connor and Khabib went back and forth on Twitter and it got really fucking nasty. Yeah, do you, those guys go after each other publicly even to, to, to move it forward? They're really starting to bring that in, and Ronda's done it a lot. Like, Ronda was literally before WrestleMania putting out videos where she goes, this is a joke. In real life, you know I could kick all your asses. Like, she was saying stuff like yeah. that. And I mean, wrestling fans, when you start talking, sure. like, you know what you're saying. Wrestling fans were like, oh, they just hated. They, were they annoyed at her video? Oh, so annoyed. <laughs> oh, did they turn on her? I mean, Travis, you heard them. They booed her. Oh, my God. They booed her out of the building coming into that match. I wonder if she they liked that. hated her. She probably liked it. She's a wrestling fan. I would hope that she, she gets it. She gets it. Didn't they boo fucking uh, Roddy Roddy Piper sometimes? Oh yeah, he was definitely one of the one of the top villains of all time. But yeah, I mean they they like you know her opponent Becky Lynch on one episode of Raw was arrested storyline arrested for like invading the show, and then they posted these mug shots of her, you know, on on Twitter saying, "Oh Becky, here are her mug shots." And Ronda just went on Twitter and she was like. Oh, really cool, Becky. You're posting mug shots that you took backstage in the hallway. And so it was she's just, just like, kind of oh, deconstructing my God. it. Yeah. And then Becky, like, responds. Becky's actually pretty good. And so she starts responding by deconstructing what Rhonda's doing and bringing up her loss and bringing up everything. Everything. It was, it was a really nice, uh, really nice build. Good. Yeah. And it, because, I mean, that's, that's what Connor gets right. And that's what, People who use social media properly, that's what they get right. When it when there's a reality to what's going on, you really want to see that fight, right? Yeah. And it works because, I mean, every single time they were showing a video package and Ronda's face was on, was on the screen, even for a second, yeah, the crowd goes nuts booing. And every time Becky's face is on there, the, it, she she's so over. It's just amazing when you have that kind of power, when like crowd, you put yeah. your photo on it on the screen in a stadium in front of 80,000 people and they're all in unison cheering the good guy booing the bad guy it's like this is amazing storytelling i guess the worst thing wrestling can hope for is indifference like what, exactly. if you don't really have strong feelings either way yeah and that happens all the time sure you get crickets is the worst people will watch you whether they love con or hate it whether they, they'll watch you just to get the shit beat out of you or, yeah. or because they love watching you beat something but as long as they're interested Right. In something. Whether they're paying to see you hurt somebody or paying to Same see price. you get hurt. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know, it, when you buy a ticket, you don't have to specify whether you like or hate the person. Mm -mm. The person's name is on it. You buy it. Nobody cares. Exactly. As long as people are talking, as long as people are, are watching, as long as people are invested in some way, shape, or form. It's like when you, when you break up with a girl and you walk around and you hate her. That's because you're still in love with her. No, I know. <laughs> no, I hate her. I don't care about her. Right. That, Good, I'm glad she's with him. Right. And you pretend you don't care about don't her. care. Because you know. Give a fuck. Not caring about her. Because when the girl says, like, when you can tell the girl doesn't care about you, that's when you know you got no more chance. Dabs, do you think I care? She's like, yeah, his dick is bigger and bad. I don't care. You it doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> Even with a sore throat, your voice is going up several octaves. Yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> oh, you fuck. It doesn't hurt me. <laughs> no, obviously. But Connor and Khabib were going back and forth, and Connor tweeted a picture of, I think that's Khabib's wedding. It is. And uh, Connor tweeted, uh, do we have that? Uh, yeah. He has a son and a daughter. His wife has rarely been seen in public. I guess he's very uh, strict Muslim. And uh, it said, uh, Connor wrote, your wife is a towel, mate. And it's a picture of Khabib with his wife next to him, kind of like, I guess, I don't know what it's called, they have a full covering. Yeah. She's got some kind of fabric covering that covers her entire head. 
so it covers her face and everything. Like that's really like that's tr- tr- up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but then he tweets. Is that picture? I think he deleted that tweet. By the way, he did. Good. The picture next to her is, is somebody with a thank you, Rob, a, a towel. Over, is that, is that sure, a I picture he just... No, that's another picture of his wife. Oh, that's actually wife. a photo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he was just kind of... Uh, Which like, he had second thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure Dana probably... Oh, he did? I yeah. Mean, that's also kind of crossing a line. Yeah, in a way. As like religion goes. Going after a guy's yeah. wife, too. It's like, come on, man. I mean, I guess, but so uh, it's also crossing the line, throwing a fucking forklift at your coworkers on a bus. That's right, true. Well, yeah. You got a point there. But the, you go down a little bit. Um, Habib's manager... Uh, no, right there. Ali? Yeah, you can go to keep going, Troy. The tweet from Ali, yeah. yep. Yeah, Ali uh, Abdelaziz. He wrote, talking shit, this guy's insulting someone's wife and making fun of her religion and belief. He doesn't realize he's insulting 1.5 billion Muslims. You don't want to do that. Religion and family is a no-no. You're fucked, Connor. Let's see what the media is going to say now. He's a rapist and a bitch. Ouch. Those are two things you don't want to be. Specifically, I would say... First one is even worse than the second one. And then Khabib uh, commented too on Connor. Imagine like, if somebody said that to you. You're a rapist and a bitch. I'm not a bitch. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to pick and choose. You got to defend both. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I guess Connor has some, I don't know if it's a sexual assault. Like what, could Ireland, they don't really get into the case details, I guess, until you're found guilty. They haven't said too much about what he's uh, charged with or what he's being talked to about. I don't know if he's been charged. Yeah, I don't know either. But uh, yeah, Khabib went on and was calling him a, a rapist. And but I think it, they both deleted their tweets. But it really makes you want to see a fight. There's yeah, something like, but it got really, really MMA fucking is like nasty. A sport and the purists love the sport. But the people, when you see two guys are going to be in, in a cage fighting, you want to believe that there's some kind of personal issue. It's like watching a fight, you know, after school, except with professional fighters. Um. Yeah, but I think Dane is getting involved, and he's like, enough. Yeah, you can't. You can't do this. Calvin Gastelum, I think, said that someone's going to get fucking shot or something very bad is going to happen if this keeps going. Yeah, because if you let this go, you just they're just going to keep pushing it. Because what you do is you just keep pushing until you reach the line. And if nobody tells you, okay, you hit it, you're going to keep going further. It's not going to yeah, be good. Yeah, showing his wife like that and saying she's a towel, like that's a, that's like... Yeah. That's yeah. rough, man. Yeah. It's fucking rough. And the family thing... That's really bad, but it just affects the person. When it's a religious thing, yeah. now you're going after a group of people that don't even have anything to do with the fight game. Uh, let's go to Nick in Detroit. What's up, Nick? Good morning, boys. Good morning, Nick. Uh, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to hear you guys on a nice Monday morning. Oh, thank, thank you, Thank you Nick. so much, Nick. We're delighted to be back. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you guys are. Uh, I was going to say... Uh, um, First off, Jimmy, you were asking what that thing is called that the girls wear. It's called a niqab. It's, I don't know how you know. Oh, that's, that's the, full, the full covering? Yeah, it's okay. called a niqab. Um, anyway, um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, any, any true MMA, MMA purist or any like real fight fan is not interested in seeing that fight again. Everybody knows that fucking uh, Khabib clearly dominated fucking uh, McGregor in that first fight. And we know that the second fight is just going to be more of the same. Yeah. There's no way mm-hmm. McGregor is going to be able to go in there and fucking handle Khabib's power. Uh, McGregor is not a he's not a wrestler. He's a stand up guy, and Khabib just doesn't do that. And You're that's right, Nick, and I I, well. I appreciate yep. it. Thank you, Thanks, buddy. buddy. But people who aren't MMA purists do want it. You can sell that fight. MMA purists mainstream. will watch it. Of course they will. And non purists. I mean, that's yeah, that's, that's why the they want to make the fight. But Khabib uh, said he's not fighting. I, I think he's fighting. Uh, uh, he's already said he's not fighting Connor next. Right. Let's go to Eric in Montreal. What's up, Eric? Hey guys, how you doing? Good. Oh, I can answer uh, this. Yes, he does. <laughs> uh, two questions. First, this, Sam, I've always wanted to wonder this. Um, when you're when you're doing the pre-show at WrestleMania, are you in the loop? Do they give you a script and everything, or are you? Oh no, no, no. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going to happen at all. Like then there's you know they they have a, all I get is a rundown for the kickoff show that's really just about traffic and figuring out how much time we have for this segment and when we're gonna do what it doesn't have any verbiage at all in there. Um, but and how I, did you know the match hasn't even happened? What are you talking about? They haven't even wrestled yet. I'm talking about the kickoff. show. That's true. How's there a rundown, right, Travis? Yeah, there's a rundown for the kickoff show. We know how long the kickoff show is. Nobody's be. asking about a script. Well, yeah, I yeah, don't even like, think those exist. Yeah, what's he talking about? Well, you know what I mean by a script. Like yeah, no, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who's going to win what or what's going to happen or anything like that. Yeah, um, that's what I 
Yeah. Cool. Do they always uh, do these in the States, the WrestleManias? They always have done them in the States, yes. Would you go if it was in London? Yes, I would. I wonder if it's the time no, difference. That's why they, they can't. They did WrestleMania in Toronto. Oh, that's true. They did do a WrestleMania in Toronto. I, w- I was thinking overseas, but yes. Do they ever do West Coast or is it always in the East Coast? No, they too? definitely have done West Coast, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, also, what happened, uh, uh, my favorite match, honestly, was the uh, Triple H match. I was surprised that Batista still had it. He did, except he tripped a little getting in the ring. But other than that, that yeah. is good. Yeah, that, he, did. That, 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 he stumbled. That, was it embarrassing? It was. It was, yeah. Did people notice? They did. Yeah. They did. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't not see that. Yeah, man. Thank you, Eric. Thanks. All right, buddy. So yeah, it was uh, it was a fun time. I'm surprised that she lost. Ronda? Yeah, I'm yeah. not invested in this at all, but I'm still surprised I had her lose. Yeah, I mean, that's when you know, here's Batista. See, he got in the ring. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, it was a big time stumble. Oh, he really tripped. He got, his, he got his foot hooked on the ropes. It's been a while since he's been in the ring, you know. He was able to, he, he still had a good match after that, but that moment... Wasn't the greatest moment. No, 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 no. That's kind of like a shock master. Because he had just had a great entrance. Like he came out in a in a Cadillac Escalade. He drove it out onto the stage, and he had all these like bodyguards with him and everything. And it was super Hollywood. And so, you know, that's the last thing in the world that you want. Um, to trip getting in. Yeah, you don't want. That. You're probably hoping no one will notice. But everybody noticed. Did anybody joke about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, a few people. Yeah, they don't they don't forgive that kind of stuff. You know what they did? They made a GIF. We're watching it right now. Yeah, but he's tripping getting in. They probably should take that. He probably wants that taken down. He'd probably prefer that, but the GIF's been made. It's out there. No worse than the guy stumbling and falling under the the ring was the worst one. Oh, that guy tripped and fell under the ring? Re- yeah, so, yeah, Titus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was the greatest thing that's ever happened. Yeah, 100% the greatest thing that's ever happened. He just disappeared. Yeah. He's gone forever. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, Ronda lost. Ronda, Ronda lost in the main event. It's her first WWE loss, uh, and she lost the championship and the whole deal. So. Oh, she was champion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that's why you have somebody like Ronda and have her beat everybody, so eventually somebody can beat her. Sure. But it's, you know, that's one of those things where, you know, you're sitting there going, who knows? There's no reason to say that Ronda couldn't win any match that she's in, right? Yeah. I wish I was into it. Yeah, I mean, I think that if you went, you would just enjoy the spectacle. You know what I mean? I went one year, but it was just too cold. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe I'll go to Tampa next year after my shows. Why are you plugging shows you haven't even booked? I'm just saying I'll do that. I'm going to book Tampa. It's a year from now. Okay, you don't have to. And uh, Vince can arrange my travel. No, he's. Why would he? What? Because I'll go and I'll talk about it. Oh, he's really desperate. Yeah, he's really because there's no way he'll get the press for it otherwise. Yeah, yeah. There's no way he'll get the proper amount of. I publicity. mean, you, you think so? We could probably work something out where he yeah, fucking flies me back and forth. Right. You just do first. <laughs> Come on, he knows. Yeah, he does. He does. This is almost as bad as you uh, trying to get indicted. What? Did you just get a flight? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and a nice, a nice suite. I do try to get my flights booked. You do. By other events. Yeah. No. Fucking I, flights are expensive. No, man. I know. I know. <clears throat> they fly you first, right? No. Tell me you're not going anymore with that first. Smart. Smart. Okay, all right. Thank you for the advice, man. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Would you go on the private plane if Vince wanted you to? I mean, if he asked nicely, I guess so. How about if he was having a burger and he said, have some? Yeah, I have a bite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I want you to bite this one. I want you to bite mine. Okay, all right. Whatever you want, man. Whatever, whatever you need. You need me to... Opt- mm, that's good. I Delicious. Like this. Yeah, it's one of the best burgers I've ever tasted. That's what I'd say. Uh, should we play a little uh, uh, round of Worst Weekend in the World? Sure. You know, we have uh, Mike Cannon coming in today. We have Luis J. Gomez coming in today. Luis is promoting his new special, which is, I guess, out on Gas Digital. Yes. Uh, why don't you hit it, Travis? Let's find out who had the worst weekend in the world. Ooh. It's very brooding. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's the worst weekend. It should be. It's, yeah, it's not good news. It's very bad no. news for somebody. Do you have any? Uh, do you have a nomination? I think, you know, I think I do. I, I, will, I think it might be the same. I'm going to at least nominate mm-hmm. Craig Carton. Yeah, that was what was in my head. There's other potential, but yes, Craig Carton. I think is uh, 
top of the list for worst weekend in the world. He was uh, he was on with Boomer in the morning. He was very very successful. I think he was on Jersey Guys for like Craig's yeah. a really good radio guy, and people love him or hate him, but he definitely is a good radio guy. Not the greatest gambler in the world. No man, a really really bad gambler, and he had a seven million dollar ticket scam. He was found guilty. He was facing forty five years. And he was asking for no jail time. He was saying that he wants, I guess, probation. Of course, well, that's the greatest request you could give. I mean, if I were, uh, uh, if I had committed a crime and got caught, I would request also. Of course, yeah. My, I, I guess uh, our client is. He, we asked him about jail time, and he's requesting none. He thinks none would be the proper amount. And the judge, uh, her name is Colleen McMahon, and she said, uh, "Colleen from New York, first time, long time." She greeted him, but then See, she right laced there, into him. Okay, but still. I don't think that means she was a fan. I think that means she just understands. She's she being uh, cute? She said she was a huge fan. Oh, oh she God. was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but why she said that. She should probably not be on the case. Yeah, but, like, be a little professional. But if she was a huge fan, and she still gave him three and a half years, I wonder if another judge would have uh, probably given him ten years. What was the maximum? I, 45? But I mean, he Yeah, but I think prosecutors were only looking for five to seven. So she didn't really go that low. Mm. But if she gave him three and a half, how much will he have to do? Before he he's eligible for parole, um, I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Will he have to do three, or can he do two years and be? I eligible? don't know either. I don't know what crimes are or sentences. Crimes are, are when you break for- the law. <laughs> yeah. It's when you do things that are illegal. There's a whole bunch of laws that are on the books, oh, and bad when you things. yeah, when you break them. Gotcha. Those are considered crimes. Okay. Wow! It said uh, I, I didn't see this uh, edition of the post, but it said he. I snuck out at midnight to bet. I won four million and felt nothing. My son drew casinos at school. I lost my wife and my family. Yeah, gambling is a fucking brutal one, man. Didn't he originally say this was all nonsense? This is not true. I guess so. Yeah. When he first got busted, he said, "You're gonna find out. I'm gonna go to court, and you're gonna find out." I'm never all that like. I'm interested because I like to hear the story, but I don't find myself becoming sympathetic to people who. When there is nothing else, when they are backed into a corner, they finally just tell the truth and then look for sympathy. That's court, though. That's somebody that's in court. It's almost like you plead not guilty, and then you're found guilty, and then you have to show remorse before sentencing It's like when you to get, try to get a fucking break. When you get into a car accident, they tell you that the one thing, even whatever it is, whether it's just a fender bender, whatever, you cannot get out of the car and say, oh, that was my fault. Like you, like even if it was, even if you know it was, you just they say you're not supposed to say that because you don't know how the insurance companies are going to settle what. So I guess that's the idea here that you don't know how this is going to go. So just innocent, 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 innocent. Okay, no, just kidding. I'm not. Yeah, and you just kind of confess and go, look, I fucked up. But that does mean that he was lying the whole time. Yeah, it yeah. is weird how that's why a lot probably why a lot of times they might not testify because then you're open for perjury charges. I guess right. Right, you can. You're you're allowed to lie in the newspaper. How long will Craig have to do though? If he gets three and a half years, I'm wondering. Can we look up what what the guidelines are for this? I don't. know, Maybe there's a somebody listening who's a a, a fucking uh, lawyer who would know the answer. I don't know how long you'd have yeah, to do. There's no lawyers in. listening to our show. I don't know what to put in. Uh, Is this a federal crime? What he was convicted of? I think so. I think so because didn't it extend like what he was, he was brokering deals all over the place? Because part of it, it it's not like because. He's not going to jail for gambling. He's going to, it, it, I don't think, the way I understood it is, what he's going to jail for is the stuff that he was charged with, that he was trying to scam money to pay off his gambling Well, debts. yeah, it's not gambling. It's, it's, it's nothing to do with the gambling. It's the, it's, it's, the, it's the ticket scam. Right. He was doing this ticket scam where he was trying to get people to invest large amounts of money into big groups of tickets for events that he didn't even he didn't have tickets to. Like a Ponzi scheme. Exactly. Just to pay off gambling debts. Right. And then he just figured, I mean, I guess it's like chronic liars who just get into this hole and they feel like the only way to get out of it is, okay, I'll just do a little bit more and if I can do a little bit more, that'll get me out of this. You know what I mean? Like he's making good money on the radio before all this happened. How much? I Did think, they list his salary? I think it, I... I was talking to somebody, uh, and it was something like a million dollars, a million five, something like wow. that. Yeah, it was it was good money. Um, but he's he's certainly making enough to provide for his family, of regardless course. of what it is. And and you lose the gig, you lose everything. Yeah, because he had you lost the money gambling, and it's like you lose half your money 
and you go, oh no, I've gone too far. Well, you know what I have to do? I have to win this back just to get even. And then you lose again, and then you lose again. And you're screwed. He was making three million a year. That's not positive. That's it's possible, but I mean, it's not, yeah, it's, it's well, that's, not likely. Yeah, it's, that's from Celebrity Net Worth, so it's possible, but that's not an that's not official legal documentation for sure. Um, we should break soon because we have Lewis coming in at eight. Oh yeah, but no, it's all I'm about you know, it's all about winning, right? For gamblers, no, yeah. it's not. It isn't. No. What is it? Is it the rush of? It's the idea of doing it. It's winning and losing. I mean, they want to win. But that neither of it changes the fucking compulsion. So is it the moment? Is it that moment where you don't know if you're going to win or lose? Is it that? that I don't know. Thing? I don't know. I mean, I've never dealt with it, so I don't. I have any idea. But I mean, it's it's, it's not about winning and losing. I mean, they always want to win, but it's the same high. Travis said his salary is two hundred fifty thousand a year. Oh, so maybe it was over. Total. Yeah, it was probably like a one and a half million dollar contract total. Yeah, he was something. there for a while. Right, 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 right. right, right. So, yeah. That makes sense. Man. Yeah, it says uh, the investment scam was responsible for $5.6 million from investors after the sale promised to bring face value tickets to concerts by stars such as Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, Metallica, and Barbara Streisand. Okay. He would say, like, oh, I've got access to book these acts. We can do them here. We can put this on, blah, blah, blah. We can make a whole bunch of money selling these tickets. And then you didn't have access to any of the acts. Hey, can we go to Joe in Westchester? This is kind of what I was thinking. Of course. We can always go to the best Chester. What's up, Joe? Joseph? What's up? Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Hey, hey buddy. Uh, Jim, let, uh, Jim, let me just correct you. You, uh, you made a statement about about perjury. You can only be uh, convicted of perjury if you actually are testifying and, and and make a false statement when you're testifying. Right. It's not when you give a false statement to the press or anybody else. Oh no, that. no, no! I meant that's why they don't put guys on the stand because then you're open oh, okay. for a perjury charge too by I guess saying that you didn't do something. Jim right, sometimes okay, right. calls me on the phone. We'll just be talking on the phone, and I'll go, oh, what did you do today? And Jim will go, well, I don't want to tell you because if I tell you something that's not true, I'll be tried for perjury. Yeah, I, well, that's not how I say it. I say I, I prefer not to perjure myself. Right, and I go, Jim, that's right. not what that is. And you go, I got to go by. I plead the fifth. And no, I, it's not, I say I am. Okay. <laughs> I got to go. I'm... <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. Thanks, Joe, guys. you didn't finish. How, how long is he going to do? Oh, yeah. Go, sorry. Go ahead, Joe. I don't know. I was going to say, uh, they'll probably end up doing, you know, about two and a half years. And then what happens is they'll probably end up going to a halfway house. That's that's typically what they do um, for about a year or, or, you know, a little bit less than a year before he's actually finally released. And then, he, and then he'll be on probation. You know, thank you, Joe. So he'll probably do two, two and a half years. Radio is the one gig where even if you're convicted of a felony, whatever you, you go to jail for. He could come out of jail. And if there is still a desire to hear Craig sure. Carton on the radio, he could get another radio gig. Yeah, or doing a podcast or something if there's any money there, yeah. Yeah, he tried to do a podcast after he got let go from the fan. Nobody listened. Oh, they didn't. It wasn't successful. We go to that, before we break, we go to that fact check, Rob Halford, is that bullshit? Found unresponsive? I mean, is that just a No, these, these are just, 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 just clickbait. You're, you're, yeah, you're, I think you're, they you're, are. You're, you're at a clickbait <laughs> website, Okay. Jeff. That's why we keep you off Facebook. Can we go to that alien found? Yeah. Oh, well, no, it's, it's just, on the, uh, it's on fucking, uh. It's an ad. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I just checking. Yeah. It's from, uh. What's the website? Yeah. What's the website, Troy? It's from, uh, oh, earnthenecklace.com. Ah. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, just, just your latest news. No, Rob Halford was not found unresponsive to our knowledge. Okay. I, I didn't think so. I just was, I hadn't heard anything. I was. Yeah, no, that's an advertisement that they just, uh, what they do is they f make fake news stories and they get suckers to click on it. Yeah, 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 well, that's, well, it worked in that case. Yeah. However, did. I like Rob Halford. It did. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, Jim's the type of guy who walks in the boardwalk and he goes, I can knock those bottles over with this baseball. That's sure. easy. Sometimes the headlines will be false. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Hey, I'm going to be in Rochester in May. Ooh. That's all I have coming up. Oh, that's very, very exciting. I have an Atlantic City announcement coming up. I've moved the stress factor to October due to possibly being away. I didn't want to cancel on any last minute. That's exciting. So it has been moved to October, but the date is being honored. But May is Rochester. I know. Um, <laughs> Jim, you enjoy your eggs. We'll be back. Luis J. Gomez will be here. Mike Cannon will be here. I hope oh, you, uh, honestly. Yeah. That's bronchitis, dude. No. Yeah. I'm better. Here, I'll clear my voices all of a sudden. I mean, How do you get that joker up? It's been a week and a half since you could talk normally. Why wouldn't you have gone to a doctor already? I'm busy. You're not. What do you got going on? You're tweedling your nipples, jerking off. <laughs>
Exactly. You just answered your own question. Listen to my voice now. Chris Ben Clear. No, it isn't. You're, I did. I did a little mucus. <laughs> Wait, you're going to get everybody sick. Yeah. Like, this is selfish. Mm, hold on. Ah, uh, Jim. What are you doing? Uh, you can hear it, right? I showed a picture yeah, of a naked looking, girl. Uh, <laughs> Bunch of Moe's. Yeah, I didn't look at it. But you I, you weren't supposed it. to look at it. I just spit into a tissue. That's what you do when you have mucus. You said hang on like you had an guys. announcement for everybody. Huh? I said you turned your head away from them. Oh, sorry. Towards you. Yeah. You yeah. saw it, Travis? Oh, God. What color was it? I don't even know if it is a color. It's greenish. It's, it's um, greenish brown. Yeah, but again, I have avocado, so it's it could have been that. seminal fluid pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have spit that up. No, that's true. That's true. You wouldn't have. Yeah, you're going to make everybody sick here, Jim. I hope you're happy about that. No, I'm not. It's, it's going around. What do you want to do? It's, I'm talking it's to my phone. Anyone doing, else who has that. You're doing nothing to help yourself. Nothing. Sure I am. That's not Coming true. to work. Help myself. Help anybody out there who wants to laugh. Have fun. Yeah, when are you going to start that? Soon. Okay. All right. All right. No rush. You're going to do it. Yeah, you're right. Let's uh, let's ease into the week, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's Plus, good. I'm telling people I'm sick. I'm not shaking their hands. You're telling people you're sick, and then you're like, here, get into this uh, studio with me for the next three hours. Yeah, why not? Because it's selfish. That's not how it works. Oh, really? No. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, Louis Jacobs. Yeah. Welcome back. It's Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. By the way, yeah, Kim Fox... This fucking DA or whatever she was, in, in, or is a prosecutor in, in, in Chicago. What a fucking asshole. First of all, this is the... Drops all charges against Jesse Smollett. Yeah, the prosecutor that said, uh, look, there's We're, no case here. We're going to drop these charges. She now defends her decision to drop charges. But she's been defending it. And suggests the criticism of her is because of race. Go fuck yourself. You don't think it is? No. <laughs> it's nothing to do with race. Well, what else could it possibly be? I don't know, the fact that he fucking wasted everybody's time for three weeks? What about money? What do you mean? I mean, he wasted everybody's money, too. Oh, Chicago's money, yeah, yes. Yeah, Chicago's money. But I don't care about that. I don't care about the money, because it's not my money. It's Chicago's money. I Just see. the idea that he's a fucking... Yeah, you're right, Kim. You're absolutely right. Because if a white actor went on and said that a black guy beat me up, and then it turned out to be a lie, and a white prosecutor let him off, nobody would complain. You're right. Good Good point. She says, as, good some, point. as someone who has lived in this city, who came up in the projects of this city to serve as the first African-American woman Irrelevant. in this role. Irrelevant. It Irrelevant. Is, it is disheartening to me. Irrelevant. That when we get in these positions, somehow the goalposts change. I don't even know what she's talking about. Yeah, no, no, she's right. Because for anybody else, like the example I just gave, nobody would complain. Yeah. Nobody would complain if it was some other actor who said that he was attacked for being gay and, and one of the attackers was black and beat him up and then it turned out to be a fucking lie and then all of a sudden there was no charges, nobody would complain. She's right. Yeah, but she's letting us all see the... I mean, they're letting us see the case, right? They're not sealing it. No, they are. Oh, my God, what? Yes, yeah, sealed. Why would you seal something Because if you're a douche. That's why you'd seal it. You'd seal it because you're a douche. That does feel like there may be a lack of transparency. It's just the fucking race. Stop it. It doesn't this have is, anything to do with it. This is everything to do with the fact that the case was sealed and all 16, uh, the, it was indicted on 16 felony counts or whatever it was, and none of them are even going to have to, not only is he not going to have to face trial for them, which again, whatever, but t t it's sealed. Right, and he's just living this version of this where, no, it happened just like my story. He's acting like, and he did a press conference, Jesse Smollett did the press conference. Is Smollett, I know how to say his Smollett, fucking name. Yeah. Smollett, Smollett. I, I mix him up all the time. Jesse too. Smollett. Just what is it? Jesse Smollett. Smollett. He did a press conference right after acting like, you know, he's been telling the truth the whole time. You weren't vindicated, You dummy. were not. You were not exonerated. Um, and then, last week, I think we were talking a little bit about how the cops are going to bill Jesse. Chicago is sending him a... It's only 130000 I would have thought it was more for all those... For the amount of effort put into it, I would have thought it was a higher fee than that. So Jesse said he's refused to pay more than $130,000 to reimburse Chicago uh, investigative costs. And the city said Thursday that that's no problem. It will sue the Empire actor for the money as reimbursement. So Chicago is not backing down in any way, shape, or form. The city is pissed about the way this went. The cops are pissed. <coughs> the mayor's pissed. Yeah. Everybody is, because it's embarrassing for except, the city. Except for Kim, uh, Kim Fox is not pissed. Well, wow. she's this is just normal, right? She went through the normal law. Well, and she's then, pissed at the race 
accusation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all being racist. Yeah. Well, yeah. The man. same people that were actually concerned this guy got beat up. Racism stupid pisses asshole. me off, too. Racism is bad. What a stupid asshole this woman is. You talking about Kim Fox? Yes, indeed I am. Oh, my gosh. Holy shit. Look who's hey, here. Lewis. Louis J. Gomez, Mike Cannon. Oh, you guys asshole. are together. Wow. Stepping up to the plate. I it am, smells I like... Sick. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> had <laughs> eggs out of this morning. It it's is... Eggs. Is it, it, yeah, it, honestly, eating eggs. it really is. I mean, eggs. holy shit! Also farts. Yeah. No, there's been no farts. It's like hot sulfur shits. Yeah. yeah. No, there's farts. Too. It's truly eggs yeah. and farts. <laughs> well, one fart an hour and a half ago. Been farting. It's I farted it's, once. It's lingered. No, it's, it's a fucking. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's Jim. You make the studio stink, and we. It's. Just, I'm. I'm happy that we have guests like Mike and Lewis who will be the only matter. ones that will come in here and just say it because we have all these guests that come in and they act like nothing's wrong, <laughs> and since we're used to it, we're like, oh, I guess that's just a fun little game we play where Jim farts and eats. Now, eggs. if I was farting, you can rest assured I would be very happy if one had lingered this long. I mean, I farted very early in the you show. You don't know how bad the studio smells. Dude, you're used to your smell. That's eggs. My I eyes out. are watering right now. It's it is soupy. You I walked <laughs> out my eggs. <laughs> I went and shit. I did go to shit, but I left the eggs uncovered for about ten minutes when I was gone. Yeah, and then I came back and the eggs were still open. That's all eggs. You make for an, uh, eggs. for an unpleasant environment for guests to be a part of. Oh, I don't mind that. You don't. <laughs> no, no. I just okay. won't take the blame when it's not my fault. I the, see. The smell now matches Sam's face. <laughs> see, <laughs> they, right. they look at me. Diarrhea, they smell diarrhea. Jim. It's not good. It makes sense. I walk in. I'm like, okay, this is home. Yeah, Jim farted or Sam brushed his beard. <laughs> right. <laughs> Basically, our show is an attack on the senses. Yeah, it really just is. Just every sense that you can imagine. You're just under under constant attack. Uh, shit. <laughs> well, welcome, both of you. Thanks for having me. Is your special out now? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it came out uh, on my birthday, April 1st. Go buy it, guys. If you like great comedy, um, there's some other ones out there you can get. This one's okay, though. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> so, if you guys... Um, no, I, I self-produced it, and it's really good. I don't want to just pitch it the whole time, but I think it's like really it? dirty fucking comedy. It's really filthy. How long is it? Uh, 50 minutes. Okay. 50 minutes. I was at the taping. It's hilarious. It's yeah, great. Thank you. I watched yeah. it. Yeah, thank I watched you. a free copy that somebody posted. Sorry. Oh, nice. Didn't it's say. okay. We, yeah. well, we did a free copy as well because if people were broke, um, we were like, all right, well. Oh, take that one. Yeah. You're, you're going to go get it for free anyway. People are going to torn it yeah. or they're going to put it on YouTube. So I was like, well, let me give it to them. So sure. then they feel. So it is available for free. Taken care of. Well, sort of, because we posted a free version and then we put captions at the bottom, like that would scroll every four Those minutes. Are funny. And, like, you're a poor piece of shit. That's funny. That's very how, smart. how do you feel? Very about, how do you feel about yourself <laughs> you now? Think about poorly. baby James. Right. That's very funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, because then if you have a friend coming over and you're like, "Oh, let's watch this comedy special," or you want to watch it with your girlfriend or whatever. Yeah. I mean, not only will you be offended by what Lewis says, but you're shamed. You're being shamed. But here's yeah. the problem: we posted it onto Vimeo under a free Vimeo link, and we had two explicit rules. Number one, don't post it to social media or Reddit. Um, number two, share it with five friends if you're going to watch it. Simple as that, you know? And oh, you want them to share it? Yeah, share it with a couple friends, but not on social Wait, media. Wait, did you put this up first? The free version? No, Same no, no, time. no, no. We oh. sold it. This was just to like fans of the podcast. And then, of course, within two hours, they posted it to Reddit. They're tweeting the fucking link. Yeah. Which the, uh, the password it. was I am you a fan on bitch. Twitter? Yeah, on Reddit. On Reddit, of course. He just, oh, yeah, he, yeah. He yeah. just fucking ghost reads his own things I on sure Reddit. I sure do. I digitally cut myself every once in a while. <laughs> I, I just go to Reddit and then I just self harm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we had to change the password now. So we're, now I don't know what to do with this because they fucking posted it. Well, yeah. I mean, you have to understand that, like, you know, you, you, when you develop uh, an audience that likes watching things get destroyed, of course. People like free <laughs> shit. They're going to destroy How you. How would you know? Yeah. You're right. You're right. I'm just, How these are you? assumptions. No, I mean, look, I get it. I get why. I figured they would do that as well, but now I got to figure out a way to manage it a little bit better. Yeah, to figure know. out, like, how do you provide access to this without providing just everybody? Well, you don't need to give it away for free. Just because people are going to take it anyway. There's always going to be digital theft, so just allow that well, to happen. Well, the other thing is, my most hardcore fans sort of already gotten it for free. So now anybody else who, a week later, if they're not trying to get they don't really give a fuck about me. Anybody else who's a legitimately right. a fan of what I do they and Legion's Gang says, they've either purchased it or they couldn't afford it. We also made them send proof. They had to show, like, a picture of their shitty apartment or their bank account. <laughs> Um, we, there was see. a couple little barriers of entry there. Except then somebody just posted the password. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that that really does yeah. screw up the whole plan. But so you've been looking at counts and how many people bought. Like, is that nerve wracking when it first comes we out? We don't really do it. If, they, if there was anything attached to the thing, we just had to. We didn't have time to do that. <laughs> you didn't have your poor interns checking Google yeah. search for shitty apartments. No, 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 no. But I mean, you're looking at your own thing. Like, fuck, are people buying it? Or are they not buying? Oh, the it's numbers like coming in. Counts. Yes, of course. Yeah. I yeah. haven't looked yet. I, I know it's doing well. We did. I produced Dave Smith's special uh, a couple years ago, and we know what we did with his, and we we did really well. So, um, well, you, you know, just took yourself out of the direct. 
collector's chair and gave it to a professional. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's better overall. In every in every sense, it's just a better yeah. special. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, it's called Luis J. Gomez Presents Luis J. Gomez. Okay. And where can you get it? You can get it uh, everywhere. GasDigitalNetwork.com, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon. If you have a Google Play or Amazon membership, I believe you can stream the, the it for free. I think if you're on Spotify Premium, you could stream it for free. So there's ways to listen. I free. tell you, I tell you why you. I think that you've always been smart. You understand branding the name. Yeah. The name is what's going to be on marquees, yeah. posters, well, whatever. It's three times on iTunes. It's Louis J. Gomez presents Louis J. Gomez by Louis J. Gomez. Yeah, see, that's perfect. Great. That's yeah. perfect. You exactly. want that out there. Yeah, if they forget it now, they're fucking. I'm going to charge for my new special. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you should. 1500 <laughs> okay, Yeah, because I just don't have to sell as many to make a profit. Just sell one to Martin Shkreli. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right, make a limited edition special. He's in solitary. No shit. Yeah, yeah, for some reason he's in yeah. solitary. He had a phone or something. Yeah, that's what I read. Illegal cell phone. That would be fun if he was raped and given AIDS in prison, and then he had to buy his own pill for a marked up price. Yeah, that would be ironic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he can afford it. He's fine. Although, you can't get AIDS in solitary, can you? Depends well, what I mean, you're probably, using. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess that's possible. <laughs> Depends how much access the guards have. I don't know how much money he'll have. I didn't, I didn't hate Martin Scarley. Am I the only one who was like, it's kind of hilarious? No, because you are him of comedy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that right. is true. <laughs> well, yeah, you appreciate trolls. I appreciate trolls, yeah. Yeah, he just so fucking, he's one of the ultimate trolls of all time. He's the best. Yeah. And people were like, oh, he's this evil guy. You're like, okay, well, I mean, no, we just gave a, uh, we gave a name and a face to one company that does this evil shit. And every company, every, yeah. th that's the entire industry industry but wasn't he doing it way worse i don't know was it he? was kind of gross what he did even well, was he, it worse was it any worse or were there i guarantee you i don't know because i'm just gonna use my fucking so then why are you saying i guarantee i don't know i guarantee you this right. and you don't know either but i guarantee I'll, I'll be willing to bet but here's why there are companies that did it worse Maybe. and there was no face to that company that's like saying to somebody who, who raped and murdered someone but then again there's other rapists and murderers <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah there's more than one but yes but the, the reason is they, they, uh, there's an entire industry of companies that do this they yeah. jack up the prices he kind of became the face yeah he became a dude who did that but there's a lot of other i guarantee you there's i don't know you're right sam i don't know but so you don't you. guarantee you don't know but i he guarantee he it, embraced though. it and then the problem with him was he was like hey i want one of hillary clinton's hair who's talking shit he was so stupid to be on trial and talking shit yeah, yeah. and yeah, then you the can't judge is like okay you, you're going to jail and then he stopped talking shit <laughs> obviously yeah. you can't make yourself the most hated person in the country just for fun which he did watch and, me and then well no you you're already well on your way yeah and then start like doing dumb shit that you could maybe get away with when every Everybody wasn't watching, mm -hmm. but now that everybody's watching you, they're like, I know that that's breaking the law. You just did that. And thing. the judge it was very aware of what he was doing, and and she took his bail. Right. And she and she made him wait. And he boy, did he fucking look? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That's why the Illuminati doesn't give away their like who they are because Martin Shkreli oh. just immediately put himself as a target, and he's operating like these cloak and dagger motherfuckers, and just out in the open. Oh that's man, I thought got. Jim was reaching over to mute Cannon's microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it was also, I was, I was, like, I was honestly wow. looking for. It in the middle of my sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just do my own if I have to sniffle. <laughs> I try to mute my mic so I don't hear shit from the fans. I, yeah, I guess uh, I didn't. I didn't realize this had Illuminati tie. Of course it does. The yeah. big pharma, all that shit. That's right. what they all operate under. They all meaning Illuminati. Illuminati. I see. The elites. I what see. is the yeah. Illuminati? I don't even know. It's I mean, the it's the, it's the elite. That like I think here's what I think about Mike Cannon. I think that he'll bring this stuff up and then he'll go like, oh, I don't know. I'm just saying he doesn't but believe he, it. But he, nobody does. Yeah. He wants you to think that he doesn't. It's a fun little podcast. Oh, you part did a conspiracy podcast, right? At one point I did, with the yeah. guy who was a big conspiracy guy. Flat okay. Earth Dave, who has gotten more TV credits since than I have. He's right. been on the fucking Flat Earth Vice documentary. He was on the Behind the Curvature documentary on Netflix. Oh, who was he on that? I saw I saw Beyond the uh, it was about Beyond the Curve. Yeah, Beyond he the was curve. he was just some ape, you know, asking one or two questions to By Logan the way, the Paul whole flat something. earth thing. Where they think that we're kind of in a terrarium or whatever, like we're being watched. Could yeah. be true. Why is it? it is. You, th the whole part that could be true is we could have been put here by aliens. Why the fucking nonsense about a dome? Why not just say, yeah, it's round and we're being observed? Like, why, why go through the extra step of pretending there's a light switch? Because Guys, I already did the Joe experience last week, so can we move on from this weird fucking <laughs> you shit? Don't, you don't need any more of Do you guys believe any of this shit? Aliens no. put us here now. That, yeah. That's not as crazy to me. I don't necessarily buy it, but it's not as crazy to me. Yeah. To think that, yeah, to see that we're being watched to see how we develop it. That's not yeah, as crazy. Yeah, I think crazy. we coexist with aliens currently. They're just operating in a different dimension than we are. Do you think that those aliens know that we exist? Yeah, of course. Of course we're just, so. We're unable to perceive them in our very limited bodies. And once in a while, they zip through. Uh, fuck it, what a kind of wormhole they have, pop out, we see them, and then they zip away. Yeah. But why do you think that? As Asians. What? <laughs> Mike, why do you think that? Uh, what? 
Yeah, why? Do you <laughs> Nobody's ever that? asked them that question. Yeah, why would you think yeah. that? Why? <laughs> Nobody's gone I'm that I'm sorry. Far. I yeah. thought I could say something and then just kind of change topics. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so I see your show has follow-up questions. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for such yeah. journalistic integrity. Um, why do I think that? I don't know. There's unexplained shit, and I'm not good at math. I see. Yeah. Okay, so, so it's yeah, easier. Some people just can't accept that, like, maybe you don't have the explanation and maybe move on. They're like, no. well, aliens must be in another dimension. The, but the idea that the, the Earth is flat and then oh, there's a conspiracy involving so many people, instead of just going, yeah, maybe you're half right, maybe we were put here and are being observed, but maybe space is real too. Right. But flat Earth in itself is like, it's a religious based thing. It is. So it's, yes. it's something where they, I know firsthand. 6,000 years old, right? Yeah, yeah, and they, that, yeah, and they believe it because they want to believe that we're the center of the universe as opposed to right. a minuscule speck on a hurtling rock through an infinite abyss, right? Yeah. And they're constantly telling us that Mike's that's never what... said that line before. <laughs> <laughs> they're constantly saying that that's what we're being drilled in our head, that we're insignificant, we hold no importance. Meanwhile, 95% of people believe in God. So it's just, it's the whole baseline of the... Is of it 95% of people? Oh, that's Is it that people in Africa, yeah. everybody does. Yeah, believe in a God. Yeah, yeah, not not yet. the not my god, right, the white no. god. I see, that's right. I see, <laughs> not, true not the woman the true that god. Mike Cannon follows. <laughs> yeah, whoever my cuck ass bows to. Yeah, I think that people just don't like the idea of maybe this was just a, a weird coincidence of shit exploding and then it made people like we have to believe this is more special. Than that's that. what I think. Yeah, yeah. I, and I also I do think there's probably aliens in other fucking galaxies out there. Are we supposed to see the black hole or something today? Is not like picture? Yeah, there's yeah. like a, a six of them are holding a press conference. What time are they holding it? Do I, I don't know. You, I don't six know black what. holes, Condoleezza Rice, and who else? <laughs> six, uh, <laughs> six organizations for some fucking uh, event horizon telescope trying to take the first uh, photo ever. And there's like six groups going to hold this press conference yeah. and we'll win. But yeah, I, I just think like, yeah, it's sort of like a bunch of, there's a billion or an infinite amount of accidents that could have happened. We right. just happen to be one of them. And I'm sure there's other crazier beings out there that, you know, what we would recognize as magic. That's sort of the way that they communicate. But that's you know? also the argument against us that says, why we're the only ones here. They're like the odds of it happening are so statistically crazy yeah. that if it happened once with us, it probably hasn't happened again. But, but if, it's it's right. it's, if it's infinite, then shouldn't it have had to have happened again? No, like if it's so. infinite, then the same circumstances. Maybe it's not infinite happened. though. Maybe they're not saying that. Yeah, I don't know. I've done mushrooms. You've done mushrooms. I've I, you mushrooms know, right now to the point where mushrooms have uh, opened me up to you know maybe I'm seeing Gay what sex. we always have access to, but our bodies are incapable of perceiving. But so, what if what if the things that you see when you're on mushrooms are like when you're having a dream right before you wake up when you're kind of awake? Yeah, and everything really makes sense. Seems real. And then once you really wake up. You go, oh, that was so stupid what I was thinking. That's Spoken not like somebody who's never done mushrooms. It's not based in any reality. No. Have you done Don't. mushrooms, Sam? No. Oh, he fucking shut you down, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he I mean, shut I you right the fuck down on your show. Holy, is well, there a drop for when Sam gets shut down? Do we have something like that? It's, it's collective applause. <laughs> 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 Everybody who does mushrooms. <laughs> Very good, Mike. Very good. Salient point. Yeah. Oh, rooted in no. Fact. And then one of these. Good timing. Happen. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm so happy that just happened. Yeah, it was great. Nobody set up the studio this morning. Well, my, my thing is not, my, my fucking thing is not on. It's, yeah. it's like it's on, but there's no soundboard. <laughs> and it wasn't. Did you get your fingies painted, Sam? Did you get like a nice little no. thing before WrestleMania? No, no, no this they is look, natural. They look glossy and, oh, I and healthy. That. No, these Did are my natural shiny fingernails. Fucking, you uh, taking pre he, yeah. he had a fucking, he had a... He does. He, he, has, he has a clear. I can see it from here. Yeah, how come it's not staying on? I mean, you can look at it. I would tell you if I. Didn't Why didn't you set it up? On. You could talk as fast as you want. There's Hold no on. clear coat on. <laughs> <laughs> I see it from here. It's right here. Wait. I think Sam has a clear coat on and Jim farted, and they're both very defensive about this. I've noticed this. <laughs> so those are things that we. Would, what? How come this wasn't? Things that I've noticed. Nobody about. set up the studio this morning. No. The phones weren't on. Don't the the iPads weren't on. The, there was a. The studio monitors this morning weren't working, so when I called engineering... That mic doesn't oh, work. Oh, it's engineering's fault. You see the pass the blame thing. That's that mic's on, by the way. It's a corporate world. That's the problem. Just tap yeah. it. Just tap it. That's a problem. This is why Lewis's well. system of slaves is the best. Yeah, corporate America yeah. doesn't work because of this. Just blame engineering. We don't have an engineering department right. at Gas Digital. If, if Shannon doesn't produce our podcast correctly, I headbutt her in the fucking face. Yeah. Well, yeah why your lips are so big. We that can't is why that. you're supposed to have uh, producers, though. Yep. Yeah, I mean They're they are. Do you, I mean, engineer. You don't have to wait for the engineering department to come in and just check the mics and yeah. make sure the buttons are pushed. That's what producers are for. Producers are. Was it a problem? Rob will headbutt one of the engineers in the dick with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
Fără mea de ce That's funny did, So did you guys watch the Behind the Curve documentary on Netflix? It was better than I thought it would be Well because you watch it going like Oh is this one of these stupid flat earth documentaries And then you realize that mm -hmm. it's really an exercise in humiliation for the flat earth But they're yeah. not They're not like I don't know. They're not as because what they're they said the thing that not that their conspiracy is not based in denying that people who are dead are really dead. Like they're not hateable. I just think like what the fuck are you guys talking about? Right. Yeah. I like that also. I like the idea that was what my podcast was supposed to be and like quickly veered off the track. But I like understanding what led somebody to that line of thinking. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's it's very it it makes sense with our current political climate too, both the extreme left and extreme right, is that people are so attached to an idealism that they cannot possibly objectively think outside of that. See, they be, when you look at these guys, you realize that they're a part of this community and they feel special. Yep. And like we're in on this thing together. Yes. And it, it, they continue to want to prove it because they, they're not necessarily afraid of losing the flat earth, they're afraid of losing the connection to each other as, as a part of this special special thing and it's then you watch like the it. O&A subreddit yeah, also, yeah they, also <laughs> also that's designed to destroy and kill <laughs> but no they fucking uh, you know they're, they're not out to be kind they just they like belonging to something and it feels special and then it makes them less He's like, oh, yeah, right, I get it. Yeah, it's being go a goth kid. It's You have no yeah. identity, and you're like, all right, I want to identify with kid, something. Right? I, I wasn't a goth kid. I was like a an alternative. There was goth kids in my high school, and I didn't like them. But I would wear eyeliner once in a while, and I had long hair and Marilyn Manson t-shirts, yes. Okay, so that's, I mean, I'm just saying you're speaking from experience. I mean, it wasn't a goth kid, though. That's a little weird to, you know, nobody else would have called me a goth kid. Based on the description that you just gave? Based on that description, you would call me a goth kid, okay. but if you would understand, I don't understand the, the culture, there was a nuance I understand. to what I did. Yeah. Lewis I was mostly racially mocked. I see. <laughs> I see. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you also want to believe that, I mean, it makes you feel smart to think that I know a thing... Yes. That other people don't know. Yeah, and it's got to feel great when you get like this. Like Mark Sargent walks around with an "I am Mark Sargent" T-shirt, right? Yeah. So people know who he is because he likes the little celebrity of it. Yeah, and he, he likes, likes to being be able... important. He lives with his mom. I don't I mind think he lives with his mom. And you don't think? I, was, that... I thought I looked down to see if I was currently wearing a Louis J. Gomez T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and none of them uh, really approach it with much of an open heart, even though they're quote unquote truth seekers and they're yeah. interested in finding out different perspectives. All the people that we interviewed for that show were so staunch and aggressive and non-empathetic. Like we had a first responder; uh, his brother and his father responded first to Sandy Hook, and my co-host looked him dead in the eyes and told him that his dad and, and brother were liars. Whoa! You know, so it's like—is that they're... when you kind of had it back away? from that show yeah that yeah. was kind of like all right i feel uncomfortable and also every conversation was just circling back to flat earth so it was completely futile right you know yeah that is the other thing that these guys it feels like they start just being conspiracy theorists and they're doing a bunch of different ones yeah and then once they land on flat earth they just stay there yeah yeah, yeah. they find they find the one that sticks but that's that's my problem with conspiracy theorists is if you believe one conspiracy, if you're just like, dude, we never landed on the moon, and then everything else you think is normal in life, I'm going to, all right, well, maybe you're onto something. I'll even have a conversation and listen to what you have to say, but they believe it all. 9-11 didn't happen, right. yeah. Sandy Hook, Flat Earth, blah, blah, blah. You're like, dude, really everything is a conspiracy, it, and anyone that comes out, you just jump onto it, and you agree that it's definitely how a conspiracy? How good are people at keeping secrets? They're just not. Yeah. 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 <laughs> how, do you get, how do you get 40 actors? I know some pretty shitty actors, okay? You're yeah. sitting next to one. Yes. <laughs> 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 there's no way there's no way you book 40 actors and nobody's posting an Instagram story right. and nobody's telling anybody Dude, who pays these are them? psychopaths these are people I would be a crisis actor in a heartbeat yeah, for the residuals. I auditioned. I didn't get the part. Right. I tried it. I was like, "It's terrible." And they're like, "Cut! Stop smiling." <laughs> they offered you a dead body. <laughs> I like, couldn't you do could, it. You could be a dead body. Right? I found this unburned passport. <laughs> Muhammad Atta. Yeah, it's funny to think that that, that, that they're crisis actors, but like, who pays them? Do they get residual? Right. Who writes the check? What does it say? It's just. Who well, supposed, the dialogue? Supposedly, all the compensation is in blackmail, so everybody has oh. videos out of everybody else fucking like a the kid, movie, like the movie use Clue. It against them. Yeah. I see. It's just That's a how it works. It's a network of blackmail. Yeah. But also, if you deep, if you like really deep dive and immerse yourself in this community, which I don't understand why you would, I just did it for a project for three years, you mm. understand why they believe in all of them because all of it is quote unquote connected because you can connect anything to anything. Did it's it, a world. It, were any yeah. of them, did any of them rope you in where you're like, ah, this is bullshit? Well, maybe not. 
I mean, all of them have an element of truth to it, which is why it's so interesting. In him. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, so let's say the Boston Marathon, right? Their entire idea was that it was a choreographed dance and the bombs weren't real. Nobody got hurt. There was fake blood on the sidewalk and it was all, you know, a ruse. But just to watch, go after crockpots? Right. Which it, it's, it? No, what I actually think is like the they conspiracy. Wanted to make that Mark is, Wahlberg movie. Yes, wow. that is the big conspiracy. Is everybody wants to take advantage of a catastrophe, right? So 9 11, we got into some wars that we didn't necessarily need to be into Boston Marathon we we went martial law on a major American city and entered people's homes and then everyone started, no everyone started liking people from Boston for like a year it was awful <laughs> you remember that where everyone was like Boston strong man we're all yeah. with you like, yeah Ugh. but like if you, you give it time because that sounds right when it's happening you go oh because they're testing martial law they're seeing it this will mm -hmm. work and then it's been all these years and they've never it hasn't done happened it again. again sure but maybe they will when I don't know, man. But uh, here's the thing: Why would they <laughs> test it 15 years? <laughs> yeah, in the I, don't, I don't think it was a conspiracy, but I do. Do I think that was a weird show of power and maybe inappropriate at the time? Sure. They just because who actually, guys. Yeah, but and who actually found and they it? Caught them and it no, was over. but they didn't. Some dipshit in his backyard that went out to smoke a cigarette saw blood on his boat and then sure, called somebody. That, yeah, but you but wouldn't yeah, have hidden exactly. in a boat. Yeah, but you don't need to enter people's homes because you think they're going to actually hide this. Well, they didn't know if it was they were hiding them or not, or they didn't know if you walk into someone's house and there's a hostage situation if those guys mm -hmm. are in you might not be a part of it you literally sure. might be a victim to those two guys yeah so that was another reason that going in made sense because you might open the door the guys upstairs with your fucking kids and they go no nobody's here and all of a sudden these guys get away so it wasn't just that they were in on it it might have been that they were being held hostage right yeah yeah all I mean, these could be true i love and, that and again did that i don't yeah i do too and, and i don't and you can't and and now that time is passing like we're now we're almost to the point where there's a we're a generation removed almost we're getting close mm -hmm. You would have to do another test to see how we're due. These, well, all these years we're later, we're like, due, why Sam. would you test it and then not execute? <laughs> a few days later, they caught the guys. One guy ran over his dumb brother, and he's dead. Now this other piece of garbage is in jail. Like, story over. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Nailed it. Yeah. Right. We got it done. Sure. That's what they'd have you believe. Right. Right. <laughs> for, for, and that's <laughs> well, the other thing. I do believe. Like that. as <laughs> I see Sam getting more and more irritated, the more I say I don't know. Well, Sam very is very fun. pro bomber. He doesn't like when they're spoken about poorly. He's Why? Very pro I have many, many copies of that Rolling Stone magazine. I know you do. He was where he's on the oh, yeah. He was so cute. Yeah. yeah. He Most was of them so extra glossed. Cute. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just like my nails. <laughs> that's what it is. You do have. You did get <laughs> a little bit of jizz. clear. I've never gotten clear coat in my life. They're just yeah. jizzy nails from your excitement. I mean, there's dirt under my fingernails. There's. I mean, that's shit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's all part of the same process. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never been to a, a manicurist in my life. But apparently I have good uh, nail health, except there's dirt under them right now. Mm, a little shiny. Yeah. Um, but there's never any acknowledgement of the eventual payoff never happening. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that there's never, there's never the acknowledgement that, well, this is really just Well, that would a, destroy my case. It, <laughs> and now we, it's, we, it's we easier to that. keep things on going so right. that I can constantly comment on uh, mysterious happenings. But why a flat planet? Like, why not, even if you want to believe in the religious thing that we are the 6,000 year old planet and we're the center of the universe, yeah. why does it have to be flat? Why can't it be a circle yeah. and all that shit happening? Because they're withholding the idea, I think, that there are other habitable puddles. So there's like this ice cube tray theory where like we may be one of the thawed out ice cubes that was able to grow life. And then on the tray, there may be more. A big so, ice cube yeah, tray. Yeah, a big ice cube very tray. Big. Very, very big. Almost mm -hmm. infinite, I suppose. Uh, but they also don't believe that space is real. They don't know what a planet is in giant quotes. It may be a sentient being. It may be oh. a god of some sort. So it's all these things things that are just uh it's just fun to think about while your life is destroyed you know right so they 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 need some sort of all of the conspiracy theorists that i've interviewed have all experienced a personal trauma so all of them huh. have focused on the outside yeah. world and how it's fucking them over as opposed to looking inward yeah, where the them, real 9-11 like, happened own property or have kids or successful yeah, careers you think so yeah yeah my buddy who's a you know hardcore truther flat earther believes in all this shit speaks at conferences he has his own house in in a really affluent part of connecticut owns his own business sells 10 million dollar deals to but he Pepsi. Did, but he did go through trauma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's sure. always there's always something where somehow your life is fucking you 
but it's because everybody's lying to you. There's a network of, of lies happening. There's also you. an element of control when you think that there's a giant lie. Hey, man, there was no real blood on the street. The whole thing was fake. 9-11 wasn't real. The whole thing was... It, it's probably more comforting to of think course. that yeah. these things are being staged as opposed to, God, life is random and shit. Well, do people think 9-11 wasn't real? Is that a thing? Plenty people, of people do. People think that there That's were no... There I, were was no here. I was the World Trade Center the never existed, Of Lewis. New York City, and <laughs> I promise you 9-11 happened. It I did? was on the island. Well, of course you did a part of the fucking mouthpiece of the... <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. And your special just came out, please. Are you doing that? Are you right. doing that Hollywood's Louis J. Gomez? Yeah, of course. Uh, Hollywood dude. comedian? Oh, the guy who was just on the Joe Rogan experience? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Another, another fucking oh, interesting. Oh. interesting. Interesting. In the pocket of Twitter, I am. Oh, shadow ban Louis J. Gomez? Oh. No, they think it was a direct energy weapon with hologram planes. They believe nobody has saw even saw a plane flying into the tower, and if you tell them otherwise, they believe you have been brainwashed by the news. So the I news not, has uh, explained you. say by you. them news? By them news. <laughs> <laughs> by them news. That's right. I cannot disprove that theory. Yeah. You didn't else? actually see the aeroplane. Did not see the aeroplane. Could have been a hologram. Sonic yeah. Boom. That sounds like the most yeah, reasonable. Yeah. But there were people that saw it. Like the yeah, guy, course, the guy who filmed you, the airplane? Yeah, yeah. He also saw it because he was the one filming But it. then they'll tell you that that is the guy also who, uh, he developed some sort of uh, flight simulating software. Yeah. And that guy that filmed that and gave it to the news is like in on it. So yeah, it's yeah, a, there's, there's constant answers to all of this horseshit. And horse what shit. does it's news a rhyme jerk with? Fest. I didn't say it. Wow, that's where you went. I was going to say clues as well. Cruise. <laughs> I was going to say blues. Like it makes you sad when you yeah, watch it. it gives new, the news gives me the blues. That's right. That's what I say sometimes. That's or dues. Right, right. Yeah. These, you pay your dues. That's right. Yeah, I think so. I think you believe some of this, Mike. I got to tell you. I think Mike it's fun is too. deep in it. It's fun too. too. It's I do fun. too. I, I, I think that Mike kind of is smart enough to know that it's nonsense, but he doesn't want to believe it's nonsense. Well, this is why I won't let it go, is because, so as as an about-to-be new parent, there is nothing more fun than injecting this horseshit into an awful conversation that somebody's having about, you know, something you don't care about. Right. So, be it, now I'm, like, starting to meet other parents and, like, socialize and shit like that, and the conversations are, like, enough to take your own life. Why are you meeting parents now? You don't even have a kid yet. Yeah, I know, but you go to parties and you, like, kind of get oh. to know the lay of the land. It's horseshit. Like, it's horrible. Why your wife do? She's a floral designer, so she. No, no. It. When does she do? Oh, July. That's 26th. hilarious. What? <laughs> you thought he asked what she did? Yeah, I don't know. Do we care about your wife's career. <laughs> okay. Fuck your wife. <laughs> and fuck her career. He did. Raise that baby, bitch. I know she's listening. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't have a subscription. <laughs> <laughs> she's a trucker, actually. <laughs> when is she's doing June? J July twenty sixth. Oh, you just yeah. said July. Yeah, Are you yeah. nervous? Uh, yeah, horrified, yeah. but uh, excited. Don't yeah, worry, you got plenty of conspiracy theories to distract you I in the meantime. I cannot wait to just upload my psychosis onto this kid. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Right, you're just going to keep that cycle going. For sure. Okay, good for you. Yeah, no, other people would try to like fix their lineage. I'm uh, I'm into fucking it up a bit more. You like, like what is, I want to uh, leave an imprint on this earth. What's the one that you believe most out of all the conspiracy theories? What's the most credible? Not that you believe the most, but what is the most credible out of everything you studied on your podcast? I mean, I guess JFK. Like, I, I Again, but I, I don't know enough about it. I wasn't there. So anything anything that I'm reading is just secondhand information from that, other people. So is, I would have to choose to trust someone. Is that what you say to avoid reading books? Yes. Yeah, I can't trust these things anyway. I better, no. better skip them. You got that <laughs> I right. just go to Wiki. I'll just formulate my own opinion based on just imagination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but with how anti people are conspiracy theory people are, there's the f the flip of it where people don't believe any conspiracy right. theory. Yeah. Where right. it's like there are Things with just say the JFK assassination that just don't make sense, but nobody will question them. What doesn't make sense? Well, here we go, first, baby. No, I'm actually asking. Well, first of all, George Bush, head of the CIA, doesn't know where he was when that happened. He and, forgot, and, and nobody questions that. Nobody goes, "Hey, that's a little fucking weird." Did you ever think that he might have been? Sorry, to, but he, Barbara Bush ah, uh, said that I know she where you're was going. thinking about committing suicide when she found out he was having an affair. Maybe he was fuck. Maybe he does remember, but yeah. it wasn't an official government he was place. Getting some puss. Maybe he was getting <laughs> blown in a car. Be? Guaranteed. It's almost guaranteed. Do you know what I mean? He might have been doing something he can't say. Uh, where he I forget. I don't know where I was. I don't remember where that's what I would do because we're dudes and fucking 50 years later we still wouldn't come up with an excuse he was, right. e he was eating an asshole behind a bush <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't want to say that I, by the way I completely believe that and also 
Maybe he just doesn't fucking remember. I don't know where I was last week. Yeah, everybody remembers. Yeah. Like, there was yeah, a round for J. No idea. Everybody remembers. Gilbert had a funny joke. I met Jackie Kennedy and I said, where were you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess most people do remember. But for him to say he doesn't remember is believable. Because if he was in some place shady, he would have just lied and said I was home. Well, what, what's in our lifetime an equal thing? An assassination? No, that's not. 9 11 was so big. You felt like you could die in 9 11. The president getting assassinated is not as big as 9 11. But again, 1963, fuck. when there was fucking one, three channels, the entire country stopped for three days? Yeah. 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 And, when, that was, and when there was like war on the horizon, that was as world big. war. Yeah, was, missile it crisis. changed the world. Yeah. I'm just saying, I think the, the impact of 9 11 happening. Everyone remembers where they were because you shut down the schools, you shut down the work. Everyone was like, they went home. You thought we were being attacked in that exact moment. I understand if you're just a fucking shithead. I mean, look, he's the head of the CIA. He doesn't have an excuse. But I'm saying, <laughs> just any shithead. But he wasn't at that moment, though, in 1963. Was he the head of the CIA in 63? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. George Bush right. Sr.? Maybe you should look that up. Look yeah. Now, nah, let's if, just if, say he, if, was. You said that he was. was. You said that with a lot of confidence. If he wasn't, then fuck that. I, I, I understand not remembering that morning where you were. I mean, I've literally uh, never met anybody that was alive then that doesn't remember <laughs> where they were. Yeah, do you know? That's the question, know. right? Where were yeah. you when JFK died? Everybody like, has an answer. Like, he was probably doing something he shouldn't be doing. That I can yeah. believe. Yeah, but that's, that's no excuse. Nose deep and intern. Puss. Yeah, I mean, but when he, was he the head of the CIA? I don't believe in '63. Maybe I'm wrong. You could be wrong. '76 to '77 is. Oh, he was not yet. Yeah, 14 years later. So Come we've on. started to puncture some holes in your theory. Okay, but that's still. George, but he sti was. It's, uh, he still doesn't know where he was. Well, but, and also as a CIA operative, wasn't there wasn't there question that he was potentially the shadow head of it for a long time, and that and then got actually. I think I've heard that theory. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I've also he, but, had heard a lot of. He half might have been theories, doing something. Right, like, he have been doing. Sorry, but, yeah, but that's, that's <laughs> no excuse. I mean, that, come on. All right, so he didn't have a good answer as to where he was. Yeah, but that's just that's something that people don't ever bring up. But why wouldn't he just say the movies? You know what I'm saying? Like, if he's lying, like, you know, there's no way to check. <laughs> you could say no... I was asleep. You yeah. could say I was sick that day. I was fucking picking my nose. Who cares? So why would he just say I don't remember? I almost believe that because he said he doesn't remember. It's such a shitty right. excuse. Yeah, like, right. what is that? He would just lie. I don't know. 13. I have no idea where I was. I don't remember. If the answer was, oh, I was busy killing JFK, <laughs> he would just make up <laughs> an excuse. Yeah. Up like, <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't go so far as to create a way where the CIA is going to kill the president and then go fuck I forgot my own alibi yeah. we didn't do an alibi for Bush what did we forget oh I knew we forgot something just tell me you don't know yeah tell me can't remember and then he's like well can I tell him I was with you no 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 no, 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 no. Don't, don't tell him that shit. don't tell him that just say I don't I don't recall you that's, what, what that's, what, that's what people do uh, what they, else besides they'll just that? make up like like you guys are, you know, you'll just go, oh, that's stupid. That's so dumb. Oh. But it's like, it's kind of <laughs> weird that nobody. But we just knew. explained why it's not, it's actually more, it's, it would be far more likely that he would lie. It's not, it's less weird that his answer is so bad. It's such a bad answer. Can I make things worse? You sure. can dump another conspiracy on top and just say mm -hmm. he was a uh, product of MK Ultra and that he was under mind control and therefore he just doesn't have a uh, accurate uh, memory of his past. Is that sure. possible? Yeah, of course that's possible. Of yeah. course. I think you that's don't know, right? True. I don't know. I wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah, there's some weird shit with JFK, but not as many as I thought. I used to be a conspiracy guy with that and then I just kept reading about it. I'm like, eh, That's no. why I like talking to you about it because You've been on both sides. Like, now you think no conspiracy, but for a long time there you might thought have been, all conspiracy. No, there might have been some kind of a cover. Yeah, maybe there was something shady going on with Oswald, but I don't think it was more than one. I think shooter. there's shady things going on with everything. Yeah. I think we don't know the picture of anything. The That's not a conspiracy, story, though. The official the story, story, story I, We don't know what the fuck happened there, and there's some other shit that happened, but is that really a conspiracy, or do you just think the government doesn't give you all the fucking the whole picture? Well, is that a conspiracy? The government doesn't give you the whole picture? Then, right. yeah, I guess everyone should be a conspiracy theorist. I yeah, fucked the up. Fuck Beverly Oliver. Who's Beverly Oliver? See if anybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> you Google her. Very disappointed. <laughs> uh, the Bushka lady. God damn all of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, the she's... Bushka lady. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that that's true. It's true. You fucked her? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, man. Thanks, pal. Yeah, that, I think Lewis is right on. That Sometimes we're not given... All the information? Yeah. Well, look at 9-11. The official report had 28 pages redacted, and it didn't just come out until, what, like two years I ago? I know. I hate that. They, so, they make their own case worse by horseshit. redacting nonsense. Yeah, yeah. And it, we found, but we also found that the Saudis had way more to do with it than we uh, initially were told. So that I'm feeds starting into to the not like that country. <laughs> and also, also <laughs> about the whole... Random ideas. The whole redacted... Like, do you think that whatever was on those redacted pages are also the whole story? You think what was redacted? Now we know the whole story, guys. All right. We got those redacted we pages We got that back. 28 pages. No. 
No, well, there's a bunch of shit that's undocumented. But it's people pressing are killed, information. People are fucking tortured. That's just happening all the time. I don't live my life there because who fucking cares? Oh, I don't. I'm going to release a comedy special and fucking tell dick jokes. Yeah. That's what everyone should be doing is just doing their own thing because none of this shit matters. You're never going to be able to fix it. But I think that there is a lot of the sort of like, we're just not going to tell you the whole thing because there's eh, there's a couple financial motives over or here. things that are embarrassing to the government. Embarrassing. Yeah. And people sometimes take that and they go, because we don't have all the answers, now we can create this crazy... They like, fill in the variables themselves. Yeah, and the, with the and funnest, you, wackiest stuff. And they're wrong, so then you set off this equation that's just so far off but, from yeah. the truth. Double double conspiracy. Do you think they do that you to keep... You said that five the, times today. I know, <laughs> but do you, think, do you think they do that to keep the public occupied with their own flights of fancy as opposed to actually getting into the real facts? Mike wants to be conspiracy theorist so bad. No. I really he's, don't. I'm just fucking talking here, he's man. Fighting. Also, we're, we're three idiots, and we've wow. punched holes in every one of these conspiracies, <laughs> we are morons. There's no, there's not a fucking totally. brain cell yeah. between yeah. us. Nope. And none of these, no one here. You did a show for this for three years. You're terrible at this. I was <laughs> you for the show, dummy. I'm the skeptic. I'm kidding You're around not. right now. It's very fun to make Mike's you know, engaging agitated. in some jocularity. Yes. <laughs> Morning jocularity. <laughs> I'm being a character. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think you have this in you. Conspiracy Carl. I think you have this in you, Mike. I think that like you know Sam's pointing at his dick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you don't, you oh, should. Oh, oh. oh, oh sorry. I, sorry. <laughs> I think you know well enough that you're like I can't really stand on this argument. Yeah. But you you want to be in that world. For sure. I want yeah. friends. Yeah, if we were, if we were biting on it, and he would have gone. Fucking he wouldn't be calling himself conspiracy Carl. If we would have bit on this horse yeah. shit, he would have stood up fucking proud. Yeah. No, like everyone see, taking me it, around it me. It would become is, a TED talk. This yeah. is this is where Lewis has Down syndrome. Is I absolutely one hundred percent would have taken the opposite opinion once you j locked, latched onto anything. That's yeah. what's fun about radio, dummy. I don't think that that's true. I'm going to go with Lewis on this one. That's true. I think if you thought that we were going to agree with your conspiracies, you'd be I've, like, you've yes. never agreed. Yes. <laughs> I also I also think that I've broken Mike now. You saw. The way that he's I'm furious. Fucking, he's I'm losing sweating. his mind right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't you, know what happened there. I just yes. really broke him down. I'm going to tell you something. We've gone around the room of defensiveness. Mike is at an all-time yeah, defensive yeah. level. Very I'm holding defensive. the defensive And it's a pretty shell. defensive room. You with the nails, you with yeah. the farts, Mike with the whatever this is. <laughs> yeah. Conspiracy. Conspiracy life. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's a tough time. It's a tough time. We're just looking for answers. I get it. Me too. Now, did you... <laughs> Did you get upset, Mike, when they portrayed the, you know, Netflix has this behind the curve documentary and it's not actually a documentary about flat earth. It's a documentary about flat earthers. Yes. And as you get in about halfway through, you realize, oh, this is not flattering. And by the end right. of it, ah. they all look like fucking assholes. Oh, no, the only reason I got mad is because it kind of infringed upon a pitch I'm currently working on. <laughs> That's Where the you're only... kind of... Yeah, but I mean, for my podcast, we <laughs> literally... Carl, the show. <laughs> by the way, Mike, you know, didn't they not answer a couple questions? Like, at the end, they say, would you feel guilty if it didn't... If the Earth is not uh, flat? And then didn't they not show his answer? Yeah, I mean, the, it ended with it just being disproved with the whole light thing. And How the, is the laser thing disproven? I saw the... Th so because it's supposed to drop... Like, if it, if the Earth is round, the light would not show up on the board, show through the hole. It would show up, like, uh, eight inches up on the board, right? Because it's a curvature of uh, about eight inches per square mile. So, but the math... To, this, is, this is why Flat Earth is such a tough argument, is because the math to prove that the Earth is a spheroid or whatever it's officially called you is actually pretty complex. Just a second. I want to get right back to that point mm -hmm. mike did not learn this from the documentary he's very well researched on yes it. like yeah. this isn't just a guy who watched one scene in a movie one time yes yeah. spheroid on, is not one you pulled out of that documentary i watched it <laughs> no spheroid <laughs> is one you've known for a long time yeah you're goddamn right it is so I continue i don't even remember what i was what saying what did the laser you know thing prove it just i watched the thing i wasn't sure if the experiment oh, so it proved the earth <laughs> is round because they basically held it and they said if the earth was flat it would have went straight through straight and hit the, again hit the board at the exact same mark then the guy raised up the light and it hit the board and they kind of just ended the documentary disproving it right right but it's a war of attrition so somebody as stupid as me that has a conversation about flat earth eventually runs out of math knowledge so if they continue to ask me to prove it i fucking i'm too dumb to be able to do that right. but my brother-in-law who's an actual like doctorate in math brilliant guy that is work uh, you know working on 3d mapping fucking cities to automate cars he he gave me like 10 pages of the whole proof you are such a and disappointment to your family that. i am wildly disappointing wait a second <laughs> um did, did so your brother is really 
really a mathematician. Brother in law, yeah, yeah. Brother in law, yeah, yeah. Wow, three D. I'm, I'm more interested in them mapping three D mapping the cities for a fucking automated cars. Bring him in. He's way better than me. That's amazing. <laughs> they're doing that though, so that's coming. Oh yeah, yeah. That is wait. so. It that's is. how they're going to do it. So the, the cars will not be able to get into accidents because they already have. They're on like some sort of three D grid. Dude, already... traffic will be amazing. Everybody will know where everybody is. They yeah. create, like, they, 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 they I mean, create, yeah, that's actually they literally. Brilliant. They literally have figured out math proofs on how to locate moving dogs, moving animals, trees, sure. like all this kind of stuff. It's it's you know obviously when beyond my pay grade. Like very simple shit is, but well, uh, like when do you think this will be fully in full in full swing? Six months? No, <laughs> no. not that long. I think they're testing it down by the uh, Brooklyn Navy Yard. They're going to do um, automated uh, car or, or no automated truck shuttles or something Within like 20 that. Years, with people. Do you think it'll be that way? Yeah, yeah, I think That's so. Uh, but I and New York, they're Get trying blown in the car on the way to work. Oh, that'd be fun. You'd be seventy. Exactly, that's the beauty of it. I can't wait. I'll be too old to fucking concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> suck my dick. <laughs> Welcome to the Jim and Troy show. <laughs> um, so you're on the other end just going like, well, I can research some stuff about Flat Earth. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, you know... It, uh, Again, all the all this stuff. We were trying to start like a GoFundMe or something like that to send my fucking friend up in a hot air balloon. Yeah. Uh, my co-host, not my friend, but it, up in a hot air balloon to just so he could see the curve. How much is a go? How much is a hot air balloon ride? I don't know. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, That's probably, not even that much. No. Would you and take also one? Wouldn't have, yeah, I would fucking hate it. Like, Me what if, too. I, I would think, what if the guy died and we couldn't get the balloon down? And it's just an episode of Family Matters where you think yeah, pulling the hot air just gets you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's literally Family Matters. It's, that's what Steve Urkel. It's Steve Urkel. And Carl went up. <laughs> oh, they together. got stuck. That's yeah. my greatest fear. Or, or is to be holding onto the rope. Jim, I'm going to tell you something. If, fucking takes off with it. I, I would bring to fucking garden if, scissors with me just to end it. Jim, if your greatest fear is getting stuck in the air in a hot air balloon, sure. you have an amazing life. But I mean, that's my if greatest, that's greatest irrational greatest. fear. Yeah, you think about yeah. that. Getting yeah, stuck in a hot me. air balloon. It's a helpless feeling. Okay, like a boy doing things he doesn't want to do. <laughs> I got it. I think. I think. I'm, I think we're starting to pick up on where. These, Wouldn't that be scary? This about the draft. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I don't know why. I've never even considered it. Or hit electrical lines. That's not as scary to me. It's just floating away and not being it. Like you're hitting the button to make yourself go down, and <laughs> so it's just not working. The, it's just the air's really thin, and, and you come back down. Oh, is that what happens? You eventually would come, but you'd freeze to death before that because it's minus 40 up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could just avoid hot, I mean. I have. I'm just saying, yeah, hot sure. air balloons is one of the easiest things in the world. Of but course. then how would you have fun? I mean, that's a great point. Yeah. <laughs> Most fun is located in that I mean, basket. The reality is, somebody offers you a free hot air balloon ride, it's going to be hard to turn down. Yeah, no, no, you're right about that, too. It's no, content it's not. for the show. Yeah. No, yeah. By the way, what do you do the you caught in a fucking thermal updraft in a oh hot air God. balloon? What are you it's terrifying. Yeah. What are you talking about? Why? A thermal updraft in a hot air balloon. Why would you ever be in a hot air balloon? I'm saying for people to prove who the do. earth is round. I've never even met anybody that's been in a hot air balloon. I haven't either, but he just raised a, a point. Can we look that up, thermal updraft? Because yeah. I want to know, does hot air balloons get caught up? And I know that fucking gliders do. I've never heard of anybody dying in a hot air balloon. I but haven't it, it doesn't even happen. You got to go to like Sweden or something. I don't even know how yes. to get a hot air balloon ride. They have one at uh, whatever uh, Disney downtown is called now. They got a hot air balloon there. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, thermal updraft. But it's like thermal tied to updraft. a... Yeah. It's like tied to a rope. And then all of a sudden, my fear is to be in one up, before the instructor up, is, up, and the rope gets cut, and I can't, I can't shimmy down fast What are you enough. talking about? Why would you even... None of this stuff would ever happen. You're like a seven-year-old with the fear. None of this stuff could ever happen. It could all happen. But what if he dropped something in the basket, got in, and then the rope's just all, uh, untied, and he was all, That's true. What if my phone was open up? to a picture of a, a penis? <laughs> <laughs> I was embarrassed. I had to jump in and get it. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> I take I've that never, back then. I, in my 37 years, I don't think I've ever even looked up into the sky and ever seen a hot air balloon no. ever once no. floating no. through the sky. And I've been all over the world. Would right. you actually go in one, though? I'm afraid of heights. That's terrifying. I'm super afraid of heights, but... I mean, it just depends. Like, I, I at this point, I don't think that I, it would depend on, on the the chances of me dying. Yeah, I like, actually don't think I would do it. Now, to the, like, I'm I'm scared on the fourth floor at the Palisade Center Mall. I right? Don't, yeah, I looking don't, down, high in a, a tiny little basket. Would this is Levity Live doesn't book him. <laughs> <laughs> they do, and I sell tickets there. It's the only. Place. I know they fuck. My sister works there, and she could not stop talking about how much my Canon does better than me at Levity Live. It made me want to punch her in her fucking nose. That's so funny. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I mean. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why anybody would say like hot I air balloons. They would buy tickets to your show. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't. Hot air balloons. The whole the whole 
appeal is like, oh, you can go up high and you can go down. I feel like as a society, we've moved way past the amusement of a hot air balloon. I would mm. rather a jet pack like that. I, I would trust myself to they test have that those out now. more. Like, so. You can go to Florida and just over the water, just yeah. shoot yourself up on a jet oh, pack. Oh, yeah. Those are water jet packs, though. Those are for pussies. You want what? one that you can actually fly up to a yeah, building? I want to be the hover, rocketeer. Jerk off okay. looking through a window and <laughs> yeah. then fucking fly away. <laughs> I want to bang fat Jennifer Connelly and then fly around and stop World War II people. Mm. Is it the rocketeer? It sure is. I love it. Hey, Mike Caltas <laughs> here was there no mic from uh, mike mike Hi, Lewis. what's up brother how are you Look at, this is when you know you have a good radio voice that you just talk in the room and your <laughs> voice still filled everything has an effect yeah there's a couch mic right there yeah we can't use the other one it's fucked up no well it wasn't tested this morning it should have been of course it should have been how come it wasn't tested rob no, it was tested. No, there's no way that Mike too was tested. Rob was it getting salon he perfect hair this tested. morning. Re oh, you're taking Reed's word for stuff now? Well, he's been here for. I've never seen somebody really pass the buck more. Isn't That's it amazing? Crazy. He's literally passing. I, I would, would respect you more if you went, dude. I'm so sorry. I forgot to test the mic. It will never happen again. That is true. Really? Anyone wants to hear Rob? He's passing the buck to the intern. It's crazy. Going like, well, the intern told me it was good, so... You hired the intern. It's still your fault. Reed's in here saying he tested it, and it was good. Okay, so Reed probably did tell the truth, but what does Reed had, know about testing? We had testing? Yeah, but, I mean, studio he, monitors will, will mess up this it, Yes, it is. That's the I point. The Can't hear you well. <laughs> 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 you, know, you know how I know that Rob didn't test the mic? How? Because he, he put his headphones on. Then when he started talking into the mic, he took him off. That's right. He didn't think that's <laughs> when he started talking, so that he couldn't. They, so he had no idea whether he sounded good or not. That's true. I, right. Yep. Do you hear that? Yeah. How's it sound? Also, does, oh. does Travis know that you sit in his seat when he goes to the bathroom? <laughs> 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 Are you saying Rob's like a drawer? Yeah. <laughs> he is. He's a storage. He's but a then storage again, if facility. Reed did test it, should Rob have tested it, uh, or was Reed testing usually good enough? That's mm. usually, I mean, to Rob's credit, that's usually good enough. My, the, my Calta, how would you handle this if this incompetence was happening on your show? Well, can you hear me? Yeah, what okay. a voice. It's good, right. to, it's good to see nothing's changed since the last time I've been here. Uh, yeah. It was him and the other shit guy, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, right. he's actually taken on some of the shit love qualities. I saw him in the hallway. I was like, good for you. I'm glad you survived. The handsome one made it. Now look at him. Isn't it? <laughs> Fuck, it maybe Isn't me. It? Maybe you don't like me. Yeah. I love Mike. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, buddy. <laughs> Should have tested that. That mic always sucks when a bunch of mics are on. Though. And you know how I also know? Because none of none of the, the none of the buttons were came turned in on. Here when the studio monitors were off, fucked around with it. The engineer did it. The I'm sorry. Did it. Whoa, wow. sorry. The when I came in, week? when I came in, the engineers were not here. Right. They had already been here. Yes. So right. after I, the engineers I, left, I, you did I, not I, go into the studio. Correct. I should have. That's what we're talking sure. about. That's my fault. It is 100 percent my fault. He's just doing it because Lewis told you to. Fudge, no. But it's per and that's better. Even though it's better to see that you're also learning and applying. This is great. That's this is true. A good day for why Robert, why can't honest. engineering just fix this mic finally? It's always been shit when there's a bunch of them on. Yeah. I bet nobody's asked him to. I've no, they've been talked to before. I'm sure. Multiple times. I've asked multiple. Times I can't hear what you're saying, man. Yeah. To fix your mic stand. <laughs> that's better. Hello. I'm I lying. Hello. Yeah. Not good. It's not better. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Once again, I'm excited. <laughs> you did. I, did too. I didn't fuck up this <laughs> moment of hope face. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is that on camera? Because you oh. have to have the moment where he thought he was off oh. the hook. Oh. It was amazing. Yeah, he tilted the mic straight up. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Jody Foster in contact. <laughs> 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 uh, well, I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. I sure, don't believe yeah, that well, for a second. It happened last time Mike Halter was here. That's right. It's me, you dick. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here, Mike, and not in uh, Tampa? Because uh, I have... Oh, WrestleMania. No, I have two months left on my contract. 87 days. So I have a lot of meetings. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Mike Halter coming to Sirius XM. You heard it here first. Uh -oh. That's right. I would I'm love sorry, that. Really. Then again, yeah, I like you in Tampa because you helped me draw there, but I would love it for you. What, <laughs> else, what, what else is on this station? What's here this? after you guys we have Covino and Rich after our show Jason yeah. Ellis no and then Bennington after Covino and Rich oh yeah Jason after and then Jason okay. Ellis if you had to replace one of those shows with me which one would it be I mean I don't say but I think <laughs> 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 but he didn't ask the fans Jim. <laughs> I mean a, a, a midday like kind of like it would, crossover thing would be fantastic okay. yeah I would say Covino and Rich because it would do this way you could cross over with us. We don't talk to those guys. Right. Yeah. Although I like them personally. I made up with Jason Ellis. 
I didn't know you were in a thing with Jason Ellis. I didn't Ellis. either, but Jason we're friends. Jason Ellis is in a thing with everybody. Not me. Nope. Me and him are friends. He offered to fight me at one of his gigs. He'd murder you. No. Who would do that? Listen, I'm pretty realistic about that stuff, but he said he would do it with one arm tied behind his back. Shane mm-hmm. Carwin beat him up with one arm tied behind yeah. his back. Yeah, but Shane Carwin's a monster. I know, but Jason I, took that punch. He's yeah. crazy. He did. I mean, he's, he's got knocked out by that punch. No, but he still, to, to volunteer oh, crazy. to do that No, no, Jason insane. Ellis actually trained MMA. He's got two professional fights. Yep. I did Ellis Mania last year. Yep. I fought another comedian you on did. his thing. That's right. I fought Ryan O'Neal, who's a comedian out of Los Angeles. Who he kicked his ass. Yeah, I won the fight. Yeah, unanimous decision. He's a black belt tycoon. Taekwondo, Taekwondo black belt. Yeah, but relax. He looks like he's been fishing he for the last 35 was years. was a ninja. <laughs> Do you remember when I seen the moves this guy had? It's on the internet. Ninjas were a big deal when I was in high school. People yeah, talking he literally looks like Mo Sislak. <laughs> 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 so why didn't you fight Jason Ellis, Mike Calta? Because uh, I, my friends convinced me it was a lose-lose situation for me. They were like, so I had two fights I was offered. Is that one? They were like, and then, um, do you remember that guy from Philly that does all those pseudo-celebrity boxing things? Mm-hmm. He does like the Conseco fight. Conseco I mean, I know box. the Conseco fight. So they want to bring yeah. one to Tampa, and they were like, uh, "Would you do it?" And I said, "Well, it depends on who." And they're like, "Oh, we'll get you like one of those D-list celebrities." I said, right. "So they called, and they said it was the guy from the uh, Wahlburgers show, not Wahlburgers. What's the other one? I don't know. One of the ones where the guys from Entourage that they based on their real yeah. life." And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They had oh. one guy. I forgot his name. It was a little like, Johnny Drama. Guy. This, this the is guy the real turtle. The real Johnny oh. Drama. <laughs> also, also, Johnny Drama on the show is a fucking loser. Yeah. So the real Johnny yeah. Drama is that much more of a but loser. It was like the real turtle, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll fight that guy. And he was like, yeah. yeah. And then my agent calls, and he goes, this is not a good idea. And I go, why? He goes, because I talked to the guy, and I go, and he goes, I think he's slow. And uh, I was like, oh, great, I'm slow, I'll fight him. And he goes, no, no, I mean, like, <laughs> mentally slow. And I, oh, right, no, I don't want to do that. I think yeah. that's terrible footwork. Right? So what do you think, boxers have to take a fucking SAT test first? Who cares? Yeah, I think it was a little more than that. You don't need a whole lot of knowledge. Why, why did you want to fight? Just to test yourself? Just to... I I mean, I, I, I box a little bit. So okay. I, for, like... I think. I got to find the right opponent and... Uh... No, I mean, just for fight, I mean, just to do it. I no. I thought you were fighting Jimmy Martinez. It might happen. It might. We yeah. we we talked about doing. Do you it. you really not like Jimmy? No, I love Jimmy. Oh, okay. But it's he's a jiggy six foot five he's fucking so black guy, three hundred pounds. Jimmy's also trained though. I mean, I knew him years ago when he was a kid. He trained. I, thought, yeah. I don't. I don't know what he trained him, but Jimmy's trained. But I, I love like, how black guy was one of his fighting intangibles. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point. You're in, you're inherently scared when you're in the opposite. One hundred percent. What are we going to pretend that black people aren't scarier than white people? I'm telling you, as a Puerto Rican who stands in the middle, that I'm more. Ta- it just if I'm going to eyeball it, I'm more scared of the black guy than the average white guy. I'm talking about same stats, same height, same length, same <laughs> fucking outfit. The, I'm telling you right now, in my mind, that black guy just has a little bit more skills and maybe I'm wrong. No, maybe you're I'm right. Wrong. I mean, Ryan O'Neal looked like Kevin Spacey in the beginning of American <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, uh, yeah, Jimmy Jimmy also, it's like, it's a challenge. He's a big fucking dude yep. and you. I don't want to do it just to kick somebody's ass. I want to see if I can train, put together a game plan and actually, you know, the whole the whole. I, I like doing it to get in shape, to be honest. Yeah. Last year I got in crazy yeah, good yeah. shape. Jim, you know? if, if you were going to fight, you would you want a challenge? No. No. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> would you want somebody that was just an easy win? Yeah, yeah. I want somebody who's got a spine injury. Yeah. <laughs> no feeling <laughs> below the waist. <laughs> Who would win in a no holds bar between the two of you? Ooh. I mean, uh, I've been probably. working out longer, but mm-hmm. again, I never underestimate people. Yeah, yeah. I would. Can you yeah, fight? Probably. <laughs> 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 Probably Jim. Yeah. 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 But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not overconfident. I, I never know. Jim, 100%. Wow. Sam lost uh, the physical challenge to Iraq. What does that tell you? No, he didn't. Mm. Yes, you did. You right, didn't he, even... he did more push ups than you, did he? Bobo win or something? Also, push ups are not a. <laughs> fighting, yeah. is, dude, fighting is a way different thing. You gotta. It's not about who's in better shape, who's been working out longer. It is who is going to get punched and not give a fuck, and who's going to keep on punching the other guy. And I really don't know. When's the last time you were in a fight, Jim? It's been many, many years. Unless you've been with my sexuality, then two hours. <laughs> <laughs> how old were you when you were in a fight, dude? I can't remember how many years. It's like literally, I was a kid. A kid. And Sam? I don't know that I've ever had a real fight. All right, Jim wins. Ever? Yeah. I don't it's think been so. Many, many, many. I mean, years. I've been punched in the stomach. That's such a pussy thing to get punched in. The stomach? Yeah. It'll like, knock the wind out of you. I know, sure but will. only nobody any bully that's yes, thank bullying you, you that punches you in the stomach has zero respect for you. You're yeah, very yeah. <laughs> trying to fight you. Yeah. <laughs> they suck Shut you. Shut up, nerd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's uh, not <laughs> when <you> wrestling's <laughs> gay. <laughs> <laughs> when you see a guy get knocked out, like once in a while in UFC, you'll see a guy get knocked out by a body blow. That's yeah. a fucking yeah. great way to watch somebody. Yeah. You have to get really hit hard. So a liver shot. But oh. it's not when a kid does it, they don't think they're hitting you in the liver. Like, I'm going to give him a liver shot. It's just the body. They just don't respect you. And they're like, <laughs> let me suck this faggot in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's that's what the mentality was. Yeah. No, I mean, I've spent a lot of time avoiding fights for obvious reasons. But then you learn how to be a good talker. Like, I've always been good at talking my way out of it. Like, that's yeah. part yeah. of being a comic is like, all right, I'll make people laugh and they won't fucking concentrate on the fact that I'm a pussy. Yeah. Yeah, you just learn how to yap. I'm the same thing, though, but I, I don't, I got into fights when I was a kid, really. I know, know, but that's why you're not that good at comic, because you can <laughs> fight. <laughs> Lewis uses words up until they're futile. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Me don't understand no more. <laughs> when was the last time you had a fight? Uh, ten years ago. It was. Outside when, of a bar. Uh, uh, I started it. Well, it was kind of not really me starting it, but it was I was drunk outside during a Halloween bar at the porch in Orange Town, and some kid like you know called me something. I'm smoking a cigarette outside the bar, and I like crow hop punched this dude in the face, what and sixty you? people emptied out into this parking lot, Whoa. and it just started a huge melee. A melee, I love yeah, a melee. It's great. Right outside <laughs> of Dominican College too. One of my friends who just got out of prison like relentlessly. That beat is Dominican College guy. actually. Yeah, prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all night. It got it got real uh, real. Gross, but I got whisked away in a car, so I was out of harm's way pretty quickly. What about you, Mike Calto? When was the last time you got in a yeah. fight? Uh, Christmas. <laughs> this Christmas, <laughs> physical <laughs> fight. I'll be honest; I'm pretty good at diffusing a fight within the first with the first blow. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I opened my car door, and it it got away from me, mm -hmm. and it hit the car next to me, and there was a guy sitting in it, and I go, "Hey, sorry about that." And I got out and looked, and he goes, "Next time, be more careful." And I went, "Okay." And I started walking away. And he goes, "Asshole!" And I go, "See, now that's." Or we have a problem. And I walked back over, and he got out of the car and got in my face. But I'm good. I do the throat grab or the hand slap. Yeah. And once you do that, the guy... The hand walk, slap, you slap his face? Oh, right to the side of the ear. Like the, oh, box yeah. him up. Oh. That'll, that'll decide right there whether or not they want to really fight you or not. Because yeah. if you do that to me, and I, I'll kill you. You know what I mean? Or I'll try to kill you. Sure. And uh, if you do that to somebody and they still talk, then you know you've already won the fight. Yeah, so that's, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Huh. You call that... I, I was... If he has a girlfriend, I call his girlfriend a fat cunt. That's yeah. usually the move. I, uh, I, <laughs> okay. I, was like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm, tell you. I, uh, the, the, the other move is like if I wanted to fight you and I wouldn't try to go over and I'd take your hat and I'd throw it. <laughs> and if you and if you don't attack me right away, <laughs> Pick I'd it up. already beat you up. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> my hand. Spilling food in somebody's lap is also that's is pretty good. That's yeah, great. That's, that's I'm a like fun Mr. One. Harding in Cuckoo's Nest, where you just keep poking me and go one more time, one more time, just touch me one more time. Remember that one, fucking Christopher Lloyd? He's poking him. Yeah, I'd be the the if I didn't know anybody, I'd be the most afraid to fight you. No, because, well, if you were aggressive. Like, if I didn't know anybody in the room and you were the one coming after me, I'd be like, F crazy guy. You never want to fight crazy guy. Yeah, yeah. truly crazy, but yeah. I'm too logical. I don't want to get beat up. Right, right. My fucking saying, age, 50. No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking punched and humiliated. A black eye, which is blanking quickly. I mean, luckily, you don't actually have a chin on your face, so. That is true. They go to punch and they just miss. <laughs> That's like, God, this is magic, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to fight Bobby Kelly at uh, my event. I do an event called the Punch Out every year. What and he happened? Ba he backed out. Oh my back! His back's the problem. His back. Yeah. I can name five other body parts <laughs> that are yeah. more of an issue. Yeah, he wouldn't. He, we were gonna do it, and then he, you know, then he says, "Dude, what do we do? Do we try to call you in a heart to heart?" <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> fucking asshole. We're not really gonna do this, are we? <laughs> I was just in Aruba with Bobby, and he made fun of my body. He was like, "Your nipples are too low." I was like, "Dude, yours are on your sides." <laughs> <laughs> Did he, did he prank you in the lobby? Yes, that was, that was me. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was a great what Instagram. A great fucking what was prank. The prank? Was, he called me at like 1.45 a.m. on my first night there. I was completely tired, asleep, in bed. And he calls me. He's like, hi, is this Mike Cannon? You have a delivery downstairs. <laughs> and I was like, what? Like, you know, in, instantly in my head, what? What do you mean? And he's like, you have a delivery. You got to come pick it up right now. So I'm not sure if it's like a welcome gift from Ray or like, you know, weed or something like that. Like, I have no idea what, what I thought it was. But I went downstairs, walked to the thing. And then I just hear giggling, and I turn around, and it's Bobby Kelly completely looking like a couch, sitting in a couch, and just filming me the entire time. What and a good immediately went prank. to bed. It is a good nature. I thought there was going to be a, a person there to hit him. Yeah, I know. There's or chocolate for you. Shit, oh. shit in a box. There's no chocolate. <laughs> 
What a good nature. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I made you sleep poorly. <laughs> <laughs> How is Aruba? I've never been there. It's awesome. Is it yeah, nice? It's is really it, nice. Is it junky and shitty, or is it really nice? No, no. There's really nice areas. Of course, there's like you know, inland. There's some pretty rough, not rough spots, but underdeveloped spots. I heard there's not a lot of crime there, though. No, probably not. I I think the, uh, the from what Ray said, most of the crime is like visiting Venezuelans that know people kind of have pro, uh, temporary residency there, oh. so they'll kind of go around and see the the license plates and where they can rob and stuff like that. But I mean, it was it was great. Besides the mean age of the audience is like 146 oh. years old, but like aside from that, it's it's fantastic. How's Bermuda? I've never, never been. been. I've never been. I've been, been, been to Bermuda. 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 Yeah, it depends on when you go. You know, because Bermuda can be, uh, uh, like, we went right after we got married. And it was, I mean, it was nice, but it was overcast almost the whole time. When's, mm. when's the baby coming? Uh, about a month, maybe like five weeks. Are you nervous? No. It's the second. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I was unaware. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's the second. I mean, we've done <laughs> no, this before. You don't give a shit about the second one. We know how this works. We, it's hard to believe that somebody would let you come in them twice. <laughs> That's, but it's documented. <laughs> it's documented two times. Uh, yeah. We'll see when the kid grubs up. <laughs> Trust me, the forehead on the first kid, it's no denying. Yeah. Strong? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of that, what are you doing, Garfunkel? That looks crazy. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. that. I appreciate that. Thank you yeah. very, very much. I mean, I'm jealous. I wish I can grow. I wish I can grow mine out. So, well, Would you do that with it if you could? I, at this point, I would do anything I could. <laughs> Sam's just casual doink the clown. Yeah. <laughs> we should take a break. Yeah, I think so, yeah, too. We I owe, don't disagree. We owe the people a break, Jim. Yeah, we do. We so got to take it. It started, it, you guys, Jim and Sam, the Mike Cal, the show. Then what? After Bennington, 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 Lewis and Mike. Hell yeah. Oh, I love That's Bennington. That's a fucking great afternoon, Lewis and Mike. Our like agent really looks like fucking Trump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got the long pink tie on. Yeah, and the blonde hair, yeah. kind of the same shape of the face. The younger Trump, he, right? He totally looks like fucking Trump. He wears pink to show much how he loves tits. Yeah. <laughs> <Hates> <laughs> Mexicans. You think Tony goes tanning? He's got a he's got a pretty healthy glow. Do I tan? Yeah. Do I look like I tan? I get yeah, I got shades of glow. pink and red. That's look, just anything, the alcohol. Anything next to me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> looks pretty tan. You're probably right. You're probably yeah, right, it's Mike. Just the booze. Yeah, it's hurtful. <laughs> that's, not, that's not even nice. That's not very hurtful. I can't believe I came here for this. Well, <laughs> I'm just we're just observing. Just how did the meetings go? So far, so good. All right, cool. Sam's meeting not so well now. After what meaning? Mocking my skin color. <laughs> <laughs> what meaning? I don't know. I don't know. Are we trying to squeeze me out of this gig. <laughs> come to the uh, come to Russell. That uh, what do you got? The wrestlers mania. Wrestlers mania. <laughs> wrestlers mania. Yeah, the wrestlers mania was a big <laughs> show. <laughs> Right, let's take a break. Yeah, we're going to take a break. You're going to be in Rochester in May. Uh, yes, I am. Lucian. When you walk through the garden. That's right. That's what the new tour is called. <laughs> yeah. When you walk through the garden. Luis J. Gomez has a brand new special. That special is called Luis J. Gomez presents Luis J. Gomez, and it's the best way to support Luis J. J. Gomez. Fuck yeah. Uh, it's available Digital. now. GasDigitalNetwork.com. You can also get it on iTunes. The video version is uh, $11. Mm -hmm. The audio version is 8 bucks. Gas Digital Network. And you're supporting Lewis who shot it himself and Hell paid yeah. for it, too. It's not That's why he's charging. So you're actually try, just trying to make his money back. Yep. So you should support it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the plug. Of course. And you it's know, a good special. Thank I watched you. it, and I genuinely enjoyed it. Mike, you the man. Yeah, it was good. What do you promote, Mike? I have a Bucks County Playhouse in New Hope, Pennsylvania this Friday and Saturday. Ooh. Uh, yeah, real elite. And then uh, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. I'm at Uncle Vinny's next weekend, 17th through the 20th. All my dates, MikeCannonComedy.com. And I put up clips on Instagram every week uh, of my stand-up at I Am Mike Cannon. So check okay. the And Irish Goodbye Podcast. The Irish Goodbye Podcast is the podcast he does where he does everything in his power to not talk about conspiracy theories. <laughs> All he wants to do is it's talk conspiracy theories. such a lovely theories. reprieve. But he doesn't do it. Check out the <laughs> podcast. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's amazing how hateable Bill de Blasio is. Why do you say that? Since I don't, I don't agree. He's just hated by everyone. Everybody hates him. I don't even know. Like You don't even remember half the time what like political party he's in because it's not like just one. <laughs> the other party hates him. It's just everybody hates him. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? But he's uh, teasing a bid for presidency, isn't he? He's, he has he's, teased that. He's testing the temp. Yeah. It's like, no, I think we're all good, buddy. Like He'll say stuff. They'll go like, have you ever considered running for presidency? And Bill de Blasio will go... Well, you know, I'm I'm concentrating on my job here in New York right now, but I do feel like the things that we do in New York apply to the country, and it's like no one's interested, bro. Yeah, he's really a disliked person. The only reason reporters are asking him if he's considering running for president is because they want to run the story of, like, can you believe this idiot's thinking he's going to run for president? That's the whole reason the question's being it asked. It would be fun to watch him debate Trump and Trump just 
you know, decimate Great. him. It, it would be it would be pretty brutal to watch. By the way, Mike Cannon is here from the Irish Goodbye Podcast. Louis J. Gomez is here from the new special. <laughs> Louis J. Gomez presents Louis J. Gomez available on gasdigital.com. And our friend Gas Digital Network. That's right. And our friend I mean, don't act like I didn't know that. It's, it's just I know, it was a little I slight have, right there. I have uh, it Sam. I have it bookmarked. That's why I don't <laughs> remember the URL. It's in my bookmarks. And uh, our buddy Mike Calta, uh, who does radio in Tampa. We is well, here we'll see for how well. long. 74 days. 74 days. I thought it was 80 something days a minute ago. Yeah, I'm just making numbers up. Less <laughs> 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 than 100. The countdown's on. <laughs> it's very, very tough. Every hour they lose a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who is going to be the great not in Tampa. We well, we'll see for how well. long. 74 days. 74 days. I thought it was 80 something days a minute ago. Yeah, I'm just making numbers up. Less <laughs> 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 yes, than 100. The countdown's on. It's very, very tough. Tam- Every hour they lose a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who is going to be the great non Trump hope to yeah. run for president. I mean, Biden, they're trying Biden, but every <laughs> the people with those Biden caresses little kid videos are just not going anywhere. <laughs> not going anywhere. And it's, it's all the fun. stuff we've already laughed at. Yeah. But now we're all just laughing at it again. Yeah. Yeah. It is funny that 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 type of stuff was probably looked at as just like fodder, like in the John Stewart Daily Show days. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, look at this idiot. How out of touch and uncomfortable does he make people? Right. And now it's just like this guy is a legitimate mm-hmm. progressive. But it's not just progressive. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's definitely doing yes. it. Yeah. But I think progressives maybe get called doing out more. less. Yeah. yeah, they're doing it more and get called out less. But yeah, it's not like it's one group. And if we can settle that, it's, it, it's, it's people. It's people just doing that. We like it. They you shouldn't I mean? do it to fucking what does he mean conservatives by circular, either. Circular fire They're all score. shooting at each other. They're just yeah. killing each other. Meaning, like, progressives are attacking yeah. progressives if you don't have ideological purity. Right. He's right. I, I just feel like this is such, like, a, a, a an old concept, and now Obama says it, and people are like, you hear Obama's concept about circular firing squad? It's like, no, yeah. we, we've been saying this for a long time. But they're basically yeah, but trying to limit the country to about 100,000 people of who have lived a life perfectly. Like, who are you actually governing? Do you right. know what I mean? Nobody we, is pure. You got to have everybody has problems. Yeah. You got to have somebody you can blame though. Yeah. Right. There's yeah, always yeah. your, so you're going to, even if you knocked everybody out, now we're going to increase the level of purity. So now you don't, I don't think anybody even gives a fuck about purity. I think people care about getting likes online and, and, and the addictive, you know, moral superiority. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There, there's this thing where you go and you can have outrage online and it's the only original ideas they have. We're not original. The only ideas they have that are getting any sort of attention are like, I hate Nazis, and then they get 50 likes on something like that, and they go, wow, somebody likes what I say, right. and the, for the first time in their life, for the first time in their life, they've ever had somebody pay attention to what they're going to say, and that is addictive, and I think that people should just get offline and go to the fucking supermarket or to the park or whatever it is, and we don't. Li- that world doesn't really exist outside of the internet, and the problem is it's becoming more and more reality. We're prevalent. Just shifting, prevalent. Great word. word, Jim. <laughs> Great <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> but the more we shift into dependency on cell phones and things like that, the more it becomes reality because now most people are living in their cell phones versus living in reality. Right. right. So that's why I got off Facebook. I, I try not to get that's into... That's why you sell your special online. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, you literally have a digital content business. Yeah. You can't get off your point. Media. No, but I get off social media. I mean, I, I don't Wouldn't use it for business. I don't use it for having actual conversations for right. the most part. Right. I the, I get, I, I'm on a, if I'm on a flight, I can be trolled into... Having an argument on well, yeah. Oh, see, I'd, I'd like to, to say, reach the people. Like, Lewis is sitting here, like, acting like there's a group out here that's getting into fights with people because it feels good. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, Lewis, who would ever do yeah, that? Yeah, I'm one of them. Oh, I, I I'm see. speaking from an actual perspective of, of somebody who lives that life, baby boy. But you're a little bit more, uh, you're, I, I put you on a higher ground because you like to actually get into arguments with people. You know I, what I mean, you'll do I it like online, troll, but you like the back. I like and, to troll trolls back. I will. I but will you'll not, do it in person, is what I'm saying. You like that. You like arguing with people in person. No, no, no. I don't like arguing with anybody. I'm just not afraid what? of it. I'm not. I'm not. I won't back away from it. Here, here's, yeah. If here's the problem, women. Right. <laughs> They're different. <laughs> women be shopping. <laughs> no, the problem is people aren't afraid to fucking tell women to shut their fucking traps. So you've seen me get into like three or four things with chicks on, on the internet or on radio shows. You get into arguments with us. No, that's for true. Historically, nobody's ever said It is that. over nothing. You he, remember when he, he, he'll like, argue, you'll like argue with what us? What did I argue with him? Oh, the dumb Starbucks thing? You I don't us, remember. You let, you let a black comedian cuck you on your own radio show? Sorry. I don't even know what you're let talking him. about. I paid him to. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think your personal life and the radio show are starting to blend together. Who was the bit. comedian? I remember. Damian Lemon. Yeah, I don't remember what the scenario when was. When did I argue with you? You argue with us every single time you come in here. You're I'm, arguing with me right now. You're right. <laughs> I wish you weren't right right now. <laughs> he argued with me too. He did. I did yeah, argue with Kyle, but you yeah. started that. Fuck off. You I can't did, blame then, me. I did, but then I was here and we ran into each other outside, and you were you came up to me and you were so nice to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. you were like, "Hey, man," and I go, "Oh, hey, how are you?" Because yeah, I'm not a shithead. No, I yeah, really no, care. You, then you shitheaded later on on your on your podcast. You talk shit about me. No, that was I before was like, that. No, oh, that was wow. 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 Mister, I'm not afraid of confrontation. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, what was the fight about? Yeah, what happened? No, oh, it was my fault. But it what was, was that? But not that he talked shit on his podcast. Because, That's not your fault. No, no, it, it was. First, I started it first, but I apologized a thousand times because I was on this show mm -hmm. and I talked shit uh, about Lewis. I think it was Opie and Jim at the time. Yeah, maybe. but I was oh. trying to. I was trying to be a ball buster, and it was the wrong time to do it because I had just done uh, Bobby Kelly's podcast with him for the first time, and I was wrong. And I called him immediately, and I apologized. No, you were also right in what you said. I was. I was. I was. But I picked the wrong form to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a tough pill to swallow. People need to no. hear me four or five times in order to kind of, you know, get why I'm the best, right? <laughs> and Cal, this is the first time he's meeting me. I do Bobby four Kelly's podcast, and yeah, it takes a lot. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a slow burn. A lot more than four or five. Slow burn. Yeah, yeah, I'm still waiting to get there. <laughs> <laughs> but tough I do, kill. I do, I do Bobby Kelly's <laughs> podcast. Um, and I was just off, and I whatever it was, I was abrasive. So he comes it on. It was like a retarded gorilla was in the room. Yeah, yeah. I just wouldn't <laughs> shut up. And it's but it's sort of what I do. Um, but Calter was like, this guy fucking sucks. He's a radio pro. So he comes on Opie and Jim, thinking that like I'm a regular on the show, that they even know who the fuck I am. Me and Jim weren't even didn't really know each other at the time. We knew each other casually, yeah, knew, sure. but it, it was very casual. Um, Opie had never had me on the show before, and he just starts trashing me on this platform that I've never even been on. He's like, you know, this Lewis Gomez guy, he fucking sucks, huh? <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, he's all right, you know, whatever. And they move on. It was just there was nobody <laughs> laughed. It wasn't a moment that became a big list. It was just somebody saying I suck. <laughs> to fucking millions of people sure. for no reason for no reason they're trying to get some radio going sure. although the greatest worse. defense is that if you're speaking truth <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to find his truth it was worse because I was live on my station too so it was double just for the, no double reason market for no reason so then I got mad and I just fucking went ape shit on Legion of Skanks and just fucking and, and it was right I it was see. correct and then we made up afterwards but can I say why you're wrong about I, the timeline no, because I, you were in Tampa when you, no. this happened I went on two days later on Legion of Skanks. You weren't. No, I saw no, you outside of here. You're forgetting. You're forgetting. So oh. we so we talked after that. Then you went on Legion of Skanks, and I took it because I was wrong. I was like, "Hey, he's right. You know, I'm cool." Then we made up, and then a couple times we did direct message each other. We were cool. We ran into each other here. We were cool. And then like a month after that, my shit was blown up. Uh, Lewis is calling you an asshole again. Calling you, out. I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, maybe happened? I don't know. Right, that right. might happen. And yeah, but like, but at that you. point, it's just sort of like you know, yeah. we're fu I'm fucking, fucking around. Retarded gorilla. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis is like a Kardashian. When there's a dead week, he'll inject some news. <laughs> yes, yeah. dude. Sometimes I don't have anything going on. I'll just say, guys, big announcement coming next week. I don't even have an announcement. I just no. announce an announcement that will happen eventually. And then maybe you'll forget next week to make yes. the announcement. Yeah, that's Who good. Knows? Just yeah. tease it. Yeah, or just figure something out. It'll motivate you. It to really does. Create an that's announcement. That's how I created a comedy special. I said. I'm gonna, I just said one day on a podcast, I'm filming a comedy special in December. Nothing was booked, nothing was ready, and you have to sort of inject, you know, set a, set a goal, actually create a real thing, and start putting it into action. Are you talking about manifestation in the universe? Doug, you don't use words I don't understand. What they yeah, mean. it's I like apologize. the secret almost. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my one agent used to say, get some chatter started. Yeah. Oof. Hated when he said that. Yeah. I've never heard Tony Burton say that. It wasn't Tony, it was an uh, old agent. Oh, okay. The, the That's one? probably why. Yep. The one who died? No, he didn't die, but he should have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My God. Well, uh, uh, did you hear... Uh, I mean, you guys have heard the R. Kelly interview that they did, you know, a couple weeks ago for CBS, the Gail King interview. Yeah, yeah, the one where he, like, was awesome. I said, I'm going to get me a Big Mac, a fry, and a Coke. He was very emotional. Right. Y'all yeah. no, just don't want to believe the truth! So Gail King just did an interview. Mm. And uh, she was just talking about the fact that after it blew up, because obviously it went everywhere as soon as it happened, she called R. Kelly's people just to make sure, like, hey, are you guys cool? Because this has become a monster. And she revealed that R. Kelly's people were very, very happy with the interview. <laughs> but then again, what were they going to say? They well, had to say like it was a why? positive. 
She's not, I mean, this isn't, this wasn't on the air when she called them. No, 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 but she didn't, they, you, it's like one of those things where you don't want to admit, like, that was a disaster, like, because it's already, it's done, it's there, there's nothing you can do about it, so you make it like, yeah, that's great, right? Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. well done. That, you're, you know, he's right about I that. I think he came so. across as reasonable and measured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's perfectly fine. Uh, no, but I mean, if they're on the phone and she's doing damage control, their their PR team can be like, we hope that you don't pile on because we are yeah. taking on a, quite a bit of water. Yeah, we're, we're freaking out over here. They can't let them know that. They're going like, no, we thought it was great. It was a great representation. He was truthful and honest the whole time. And that's that. Yeah, yeah. I think they're all just towing the company line. It's because it was already done and and shot. There's nothing. Yeah, but I think Mike's it. right that you can say. Yeah, yeah, I just hope we, we don't pile on to this because it is kind of... Yeah, we are in the middle of heavy yeah. litigation in some hardcore... Like, it, regardless of, of whether he's, you know, guilty or not, it's like, you know, they are in the midst of all of this shit, so they oh, could yeah. probably ask for a little bit of a break. I mean, I think that there's a very real possibility that R. Kelly and his people sat there and said, this is a great interview. If you're watching... Remember when we were watching the interview... The guy told him who was with him as it was happening, like, this is great, this is great. You're doing yeah. really good. Yeah. <laughs> like, he wasn't doing good. He was doing really <laughs> poorly. Just see his PS team behind him and like, fucking nailed it. Yes. yes. <laughs> you can tell you're upset. Yeah, they good said job. that they liked it. They thought people were going to see how passionate he was. Yeah, yeah. And his well, emotion. Because if he did it, why would he yell? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know that's, exactly. that's the rationale. I've been saying that since day one, Mike. That's my favorite. <laughs> that's my thing. He's like, why would I go and do this? And it's like, ask that about any you treat <laughs> women poorly. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Germany. When Germany cancels you, yeah. you're finished. As I, they're stoning a woman for wearing a yeah. t-shirt, they're like, we'll have none of you over here. I just here. looked at like his, uh, like his, you see, dude, there was one video I just watched of him where he's performing and he's just letting women grab his dick. Yeah. yeah. Women. It, I mean, <laughs> it was, it was bananas. And these women just, I mean, I don't know what was going on there, but they were so... And also, he had no dick. They couldn't find his dick. Is this recent or a concert footage? I, it's concert footage. They were... Yeah, this is the one, dude. They couldn't find it because it was by his knee. <laughs> <laughs> when is this from? Big dick? Yeah, it's huge. But he just did a... He literally just did an appearance at a at a club. I don't know if you were going to bring this up, but he... Like, where he got paid, and he asked the media ahead of time to lay off of him. He's good. They're going to see him with drinks. He's not out celebrating. This is just the only way he can generate income. But there's still these dippy idiot women that... That are screen like taking pics, you know, thinking yeah, he's hot course. shit, and like you know, even at his uh, I guess sold out concert in Chicago right after Look, the they start grabbing his dick. Yeah, Look, they're grabbing his dick. He doesn't seem to be deterring it. No, no. he loves it. I'd love my dick grabbed on stage. I can jerk right. off to this right now. This is great. <laughs> yeah, Somebody grabs Yo, lucky nuts. girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he takes I love his razor. Oh, he's in the packing. Front. Jesus yeah. Christ, she has that lady oh, has a handful of dick. Yeah. yeah. Look at him. That Look never at him one white hand. <laughs> Just the one white Look hand. Look at him smiling. <laughs> she hit him in the nose. Look at him. That never happens ball. during my show. It doesn't ever? I want my dick grab on telling jokes. <laughs> just fucking a bunch yeah. of... <laughs> what about fucking the president that are just rubbing my it's fucking dick? a bunch dick. of fucking neckbeards from Reddit just grabbing your dick. <laughs> 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 Jim fucking humping their hands. I would take it. I know you would. Absolutely. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that his uh, what his offense is what? He's fucking young chicks and he's abusive, right? Yeah, and holding women captive. Keeping them prisoners. No, yeah. no, I, uh, fine. All right, I'm just Sex saying, prisoners. when you go to like... Like, we could stop at kids. When, when you go to Africa <laughs> and South America, I don't think they're going to really give a shit. I guarantee you he ends up being quite all right. No. You know why? You're not you quite all right if you're banned to, if you're banned to like going to other countries, you can't come back in the States. I wouldn't say you're quite all right. But what if he moves to Thailand, right, where this is acceptable and part of tourism, and he just performs it? He like sets up a Vegas residency in boy country. In Thailand. <laughs> yeah. And he had all that Thailand money. Dude, he pissed on a chick on camera, and that just happened. Several. It's yeah. amazing that, that, fucking, that he survived that for 15 years. And, and I'll tell you and, why. Because he was, was fishing for kids at his fucking because court. Because he, he was still making hits then. Yeah. There's no more hits. Bounce, 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 do yeah. one song. Put ignition on, and you'll be like, oh, who cares what he did? I can't yeah. stand that fucking oh, song. It's a good song. Jim, Jim I, you gotta fuck to it. That's yeah. why oh, I grew up. I can't the, fuck to yeah. music. To the high school day. <laughs> Jim doesn't have rhythm. I like silence. <laughs> <laughs> they can tell Jim how herky jerky your hips are. Just Jim when it's off to, to, to fuck yeah. to it. Yeah. I conceived both my children to this song. Did you really? That's true. Wow. Wow. Yes, I did. I could never fuck to a song. Let this river dance. <laughs> Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but you know, like R. Kelly is toot, still. Toot. This is <laughs> fucking hideous. Most overrated song ever. Why are you getting so Pile upset? of shit. I'm just sick of hearing how great it is. It's toot, a good song. Toot. It's Lewis. fucking dumb. Rub his dick with a song. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Don't you come in my hand, you <laughs> cocksucker. I'll rip it off. <laughs> Did you have that sound bite? Yes. Then why'd you say it? Because I'm fucking feel like moving my arm. I'm comfortable. <laughs> All right. No, that's fair. Um, the thing about R. Kelly is still not on solid ground yet. Whether he comes back or not, we'll see. Michael Jackson is fully back. After that whole finding Neverland thing or whatever, leaving Neverland, everybody's like, you know what? Michael Jackson's got enough hits that there's only two of them. I think yeah, I was might in the airport lying. in uh, L.A. in the, the rock, whatever the, the rock and roll thing is, the one uh, JetBlue terminal. Rock and Bruise? Yeah, Rock and Bruise. Huge like Michael kiss. Jackson poster. Too. Yeah, I, yeah. You're like, dude, I mean. Hasn't, it hasn't stopped a thing. It's done no. nothing. His I music just, is, is chosen for children's movies. Yeah. Yep. I got crazy. into an just, Uber last night, and they, the guy had like an, a sick car, but his flat screen was playing old Michael Jackson <laughs> videos <laughs> while other music was on. Yeah. So it wasn't even Michael Jackson. He, he was going out of his support. lane to just put it right in your eyes. <laughs> the, the story, the story can't go any further because Michael's dead. So right. There's no trial. There's no. He can't answer to it. And there's only the two. Nothing's being built on. Right. On. on oh, those there's got to be more. You don't. You don't go twice, and that's it. Well, where are they? The smartest thing he he did was never fuck Macaulay Culkin. Yep. Oh, so he had a he had yeah. a famous Corey, figurehead. Um, Corey Feldman. Feldman. Corey, Corey Feldman, yeah, yeah, he has famous figureheads yeah. to deny and they're the claims. All, if you look at them now, they're all fucked up. Like that's what fucked them up. Like yeah, Michael yeah. never chose them. So now you look at them as adults. They're like drug addicts and all fucking. Well, worn he down. probably did the same thing where he made them feel loved and then never consummated the relationship. So yeah. they felt like you know unsullied. Right. Boys. And the other kids, if you look at the kids who got fucked, those kids are healthy looking kids. Right. Yeah. I remember he used to. Carry Webster around? Yes, he did. Yeah. Carry him around like a pet. He did carry him around. <laughs> like a Webster was 37. <laughs> yeah. No, that was Bobo, you racist. <laughs> Holy shit! I was Cal searching for bubbles. his head, for his bubbles, name. Whatever. Bubbles, not bubbles. 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 Yeah. Yeah, he used bubbles. to carry them to the Grammys. Did you, you call remember? Bubbles Bobo? Yeah, I did. Call oh, bubbles. So funny. <laughs> <He> did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would like like Webster was his accessory for a period of time, and he was a teenager. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was okay. way past the age where. Is. Webster looks good. You would want anybody to <laughs> carry. Oh, Jesus him. Christ! <laughs> it's audio. What? It's Webster. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but my, I mean, nothing, not one, not one thing has happened. Is that monkey yeah. dead? No. I don't think he's, uh, the only thing. Because <laughs> he's dead, what can you do? I think there's, gonna... there's no, <laughs> there's could... no addition to it. Even if other kids came out. Right. You, you could can't... shame his daughter into suicide, which is apparently <laughs> happening over and over again. This poor hot girl. I know. Who's not even really his daughter. <laughs> no. Zero of his DNA. Yeah. girl. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. But she has all that, like, money from child molestation. So yeah. she's just living off blood money. No, but he's I think he made a lot of the money from his music. No. Oh, I don't think he made money molesting no, kids. No, his, his primary <laughs> trade was kids. Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, did he take the mo kids' money yeah. one and he, molest them? The, the music was a facade. So he didn't make a lot of money. None. Weird that we dip back into conspiracy theory. <laughs> 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 he actually never charged for his music. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know? I didn't realize that. Yep. Except he, uh, he had a little subtitle on the bottom of yeah. it. Said, well, he has a pizza place in Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being 16. And being Webster right there. You think he was 16 there? He, How I, humiliating. Being carried around like a three-year-old. How fucking humiliating. <laughs> Gary Coleman's <laughs> laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Gary Coleman's laughing at you. That was, that was my favorite part of the different strokes, like when they would do E! True Hollywood Stories. Part of it was like Gary Coleman, and he would talk about how pissed off he would get when he was like 17 years old, and people were still coming up to him and pinching his cheeks and picking him up and, go, and treating him like he was a kid. And he's like, I'm trying to go through puberty here. What are you Dude, doing? Dude, Webster leaned into it. He was like, carry me around, Michael. Yeah, well, Webster That's knew. awesome. Webster knew where his Dude, he had a was. human pet and Brooke Shields on his arm. Oh, it's incredible. What an incredible he, he, he time. He deserved to fuck a couple kids. Good for him. I know, you know, that's far, but it, it, it just, it, that was an incredible time to be Michael, the early eighties, the, the whole, that whole documentary, it wasn't just a, like you assumed he was fucking kids, but when you hear he was making them bend over and oh, the specifics cheese. were like, yeah, then you know, it's I fake. Know. You didn't know how to work. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, the specifics. Yeah, that, that twitchy guy. What? It would not Jim wait. Norton. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that's been it the whole time. You've just been hiding a molestation, just trying to yeah. geek it out. I, I mean, forgot that I met Michael. <laughs> It's not, my, it's not Michael Jackson. He hasn't been hiding a molestation. He's That's just true. been mislabeling it. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun between friends. Right, right. Sometimes not friends.
Sometimes no, bullies. It's true. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Mike's like, <laughs> are you guys telling the truth right now? Because I don't think this is funny anymore. <laughs> this is really bumming me out, guys. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think. I don't think at this point anything's going to happen to Michael. You what can't. could? What could? Yeah. yeah. You can't. You also, can't erase, for a second. You if can't you cancel at, his music. It's fully ingrained in our culture. It's, it. it's responsible for but almost Simpsons, all modern day R and B. The Simpsons took off the Michael Jackson episode That'll do from it. rotation. That'll stop kids. I think every time, like this, shit obviously none of this stuff should be erased anyway. All of this stuff <laughs> should be kept out in public so we're reminded of the fucking sickness that people have. You know, everybody's trying. <laughs> every time Thriller comes on, just, like, just oh, breaks right. into tears, <laughs> falls on the ground into a fucking turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should. Be be ruining abuse victims days all the time by keeping this music alive <laughs> yeah. has Emmanuel Lewis commented at all or has he said anything or no is he alive he yes alive, yeah. he is yeah, he sure man you know why he's just sitting there prideful that he outlived Gary Coleman it's true yeah well Gary did fall down the steps what a shit way to go oh yeah last thing you see is a fucking washing machine <laughs> 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 there's also a step ladder with two steps <laughs> <laughs> why, do yeah. you why do you think he didn't fuck Corey Feldman Gary Coleman? Because he fucked Corey, <laughs> the other Corey. Maybe, oh, Corey yeah. Haim? Yeah. That's probably what he's done. No, I think Corey Feldman and Macaulay Culkin, like the, I think the super famous, super famous kids. Too big of a risk. And they were the ones to prove that I'm not doing it. Yeah, yeah. but Corey Feldman would like dress like him and do anything yeah. he wanted to do. Like That seemed like the one that you... Well, I think MJ wanted him to make him work for it. <laughs> yeah. like you could just... also have any... Like, if you're Michael Jackson, you could have anyone. So it's like, you know, you think about it, like he just chose he didn't want them. Yeah, he wanted some other little kids. This kid's throwing ass. Well, Colin wasn't actually that cute, to be honest. <laughs> no, Yo, now you, he's Are not. you crazy? He was gorgeous. Was he, he, was a kid? Kid. he was cute. Yeah, he home no. alone. And by the way, Macaulay Culkin has cleaned himself up. He's gorgeous now. Is he? He just looks like a big Macaulay Culkin kid. Yeah, that's not a good-looking adult. That's just a right. child stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's cute. I think he's cutie pie. So is every kid around Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I like no, it. No, I waited too long. I know. <laughs> waited too long. He's clever. No, I oh, that's him long. now on the up, uh, upper left? Yeah. He cleaned himself up. He completely oh, cleaned himself gorgeous. up. Gorgeous. Well, I saw him in the East Village a few years ago. No, I met him like a year ago. Wow. And he's just like a normal dude. Yeah, he loves wrestling, right? I sat behind he him loves wrestling. WrestleMania one time. Right? It's a yeah. shame Michael missed out on those lips, because he's got some DSLs. <laughs> okay. He's, he's actually... Got, he's got some pouty, ruby, li ruby red lips. He's kind of handsome now. He, you're right, he did clean himself up. He did. He was really fucked up for a while. He was. He had that, like, when he had, like, his hair all scraggly and long, yeah. he was, like, heroin thin. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he's, well, due, listen, he's due for a comeback, huh? Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. They'll do something with him. He'll, he'll make a comeback. He's clean now. That, that's the, nah, the brewings. No, have you heard his interviews? He has no interest. He's like living in Paris in some one bedroom painting. You yeah, know, he just living off his money. He, he doesn't, doesn't give care a fuck. about it. He's doing a podcast with his buddy. Yeah, and what's care. what's the what's the appeal to coming back that he has to answer these type of questions? Does he right. go? Does he do the podcast from Paris and just do it like, or does he come back and do it? I mean, I'm not his producer. Well, you already knew more than I did, so maybe you knew his process. <laughs> <laughs> Um, listen, we've had a great time today with Luis J. Gomez and with Mike Cannon. Is now, he ISDN? You don't have to ISDN <laughs> for a podcast. But I'm wondering if he does. No, you why can. would he, why, you can, you yeah, can. but sure. it would just, it's just a tremendous amount of but effort. But he's doing for, it with somebody who's not in the same country. Skype doesn't matter if you're in the same country or something. Yeah, but ISDN's way enough. better. Yeah. It is, thank you. Luis. We use VMix, so maybe they use VMix. They may use VMix. Yeah. yeah. All right. Or maybe they just... Maybe the, they use a bunch of FaceTime when they're together. They might use FaceTime. Yeah, they might use FaceTime or some sort of like some French company. That's an industry comparable. secret. If there's maybe some kind of a Skype in France that's different, they could use that. Yeah, yeah. that's very very possible. There's there's never been a worse ending to a show. No, I like or beginning or middle. Well, Mike Kalfa, uh, thank you for popping in. You can hear him on the radio in Tampa for now. How, how 20, long, Mike? 23, 23 days. 23, 23 days shit. left. Mm -hmm. So enjoy it while you can. Of course, uh, Louis J. Gomez presents Louis J. Gomez by Louis J. Gomez. is available right now. Uh, GasDigitalNetwork.com yes, is where you can go to get it. Support Louis. He's doing his own content. Yeah. He's producing it. He's doing all of it and not waiting for a network to do it, which is really great, man. So, uh, yeah. yeah, support Louis. Well, it's not my choice. No, you, I, I, I would have loved the network to purchase. Yeah, no, no one that thought that you said no to HBO. <laughs> I'm just trying to talk it up. <laughs> this is the man who spit in Netflix's face. 
<laughs> and Mike Cannon, of course, host of the Irish Goodbye podcast. You can yeah. get all of his dates at MikeCannonComedy.com. Where will you be this weekend? Uh, Bucks County Playhouse in New Hope, Pennsylvania. That's the spot. I'm Hell heading yeah. to Rochester in May, and uh, the Stress Factory has been moved to October. So, you know, if you want to go get tickets, go get tickets. Can I plug a couple live gigs real quick? Yes, you may, Lucia uh, Gomez. This Friday night, I'll be at Two Roads Brewery in something or other Connecticut. Uh, go to my Twitter. I have that up there. And then also, the 19th, I'm at the Philadelphia Comedy Club. Uh, April 19th, special 420 show. A day early, instead of a day late. It would have been better marketing to be a day late, but fuck it. A day early, 420 show, 419, Philadelphia Comedy Club, or phillycomedyclub.com. Yeah. How about 419? Almost high. I don't know. You know, something <laughs> kind of cute on it. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yep. Goodbye.